Going up, I'm feeling fly, yeah, I'm so damn fresh Got your platinum grill, bringing in the chest Diamonds in my mouth, shining when I speak That umbrella guy, frost and speaking geek Ice on my teeth, I'm dripping so hard Platinum grills, I'm the king of the boulevard Throwing money in the club, making haters mad I'm the baddest in the game, no one gets a pass Ooh, yeah Crushing all these lines, yeah, I feel fly Rolling on the dubs, that umbrella guy Iced out flow on the boulevard You ain't a comic gangster, don't be playing hard Ice on my teeth, I'm flying so high Dropping the bass, that umbrella guy One drill to rule them all, one drill to bind them Baby, I'm so iced out, gonna blind them Rolling in town, I'm an army of one Doing verbal walk by, blazing like the sun Riding in my whip, pushing false accusers Dropping off the bass on the real abusers yeah. Living life fast, no time for the slow Justice on my mind, stacking up on my throat Life in the fast lane, no time to blink Ice on my teeth, watch it when I speak Chilling on my rhymes, never missing the beat Ice on my teeth, yeah, I'm living that sweet That umbrella guy bringing the platinum heat Crushing every hater, no time for defeat, oh yeah <laughs> Hey there, how's it going, folks? Welcome oh, to. I, I didn't know you were a rapist too. <laughs> oh yeah, man, oh, I'm wow. I'm I'm the <laughs> I'm the most notorious rapist ever. <laughs> yeah, how are you guys doing, man? I've been looking forward to this for. Ooh. Oh man, I've been looking through it all week. I'm like, oh man, it's gonna be. Good. Is it Wednesday already? It's I know. Wednesday. It's crazy. Wednesday. I mean, it's, it's been very very intense this week thus far especially this morning with court i can scoot closer and to yeah let's she does might. and not Damn, knowing that yeah, not man. knowing what to expect from the judge was he gonna throw him in jail along with his legal team because it because court was not supposed to be scheduled for today and so how are y'all doing after court by the way i i'm sure the stress very much stress my stomach is always a nuts before, during, after, for hours. It it takes a while for it to just kind of. You don't you don't really want us to talk about the diarrhea, do you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, well, you, you can save you can, you can save that for your exclusive members. Okay, right? that'll be an exclusive. <laughs> what the hails? So. Yeah, there you go, right there. Now, I mean, you know, one of the things though, I try to hammer with a lot of this. People, we catch the high points, but man, people don't understand what it's like to to go through insanity you know day to day minute to minute hour to hour i mean it's just it's it never well, really ends and and let me try and put it in 60 seconds for you and i saw i saw some of our friends in otter creek are actually in the chat here so i saw deborah thomas who i see her right now she is she is a lovely lovely individual that uh that we are friends with and let, let me try and put in 60 seconds what we've been through for our business plan we tried to find a place that was the hub or in between all the major cities, Tallahassee, Jacksonville, uh, Tampa, Orlando, because we want to go to all the major cities for auctions, for storage units, for treasure hunting, all of that. We find a great place. We find 70 acres. It's near the golf. We love it. We come into a town. The town starts to steal money from us because I spend $25,000 to put town water in our, our home instead of the actual well water. We're sold the property illegally because there were known encroachments, two known encroachments, and that's why it was sold illegally because they didn't disclose the encroachments. One of the encroachments, the house actually had to be removed, a portion of it, about four acres of a dump that these meth heads actually turned into a dump. The other uh, uh, encroachment was the individuals who sold it to us, who he then got drunk, came over, trespassed, then destroyed property, took one of the fence posts, turned it into a finger flicking us off. Then we're stalked to Otter Creek by super fans, but they become super uh, stalkers and they're begging for money. They're begging for promotion. They're even begging for us to do their job working on their property. Mm -hmm. And we say no. And then they start to do things such as put signs up all over the town saying that Jeremy Hales is a is a the Ohio for lack of candor or lack of um, 
you know what? We just call it a rapist. And yes. so you can spell it differently if you want to. Firearms pulled out on us. Threats after threats after threats. Everything being told, everything being posted that we're moving our entire radical Muslim terrorist family to Otter Creek. And that's why we bought this building that we're in. Yeah. We never said that. That's what they have said. Everything, to, they're going to pop a cap in our, you can fill in the blanks there. To They've got pictures of their appendages in her mouth. And it just goes on. The sexual harassment. The sexual There's harassment. About the stuff harassment. they're gonna shove up our our rectums. Not only his, oh, but goodness. mine as well. And so through that, we uncover the corruption in the town, and we're stalked into the town. And now we have stalkers that live across the street from us that have made life a living, not hails. You know, living life as hails is actually pretty good. Living oh, life yeah. stalked is uh, not so great. Mm -hmm. So, and now we've got civil protection orders against them in Ohio. Florida is is not doing what they're supposed to do, both state law and federal law. They must enforce our civil protection orders. So we're going to have to file suit against the state and the Levy County Sheriff as they continue to allow them to get away with things instead of arresting them. But Ohio is coming after them as well for all of these infractions and violations. And then she runs, just so we're very clear, because I know there's other channels talking about her petition. We announce on the Sunday Night Live that we are going to the courts the next day to file for civil protection orders against these two. And that date was September 3rd. Then days later, she runs. They try and mimic everything we do. So days later, she runs to the Florida court to try and get an injunction. They try and mirror everything we do. It was us that announced we're done. It's This is ridiculous. We're going to go and get civil protection orders. The courts have granted it obviously she's found guilty he's found guilty mm -hmm. and then she runs to try and get one and she posts lie after lie after lie but that gets the, you all up to speed the only thing sh they have not mimicked is a cease and desist letter so you we did he hired a an attorney to, to issue a cease and desist and he chose to ignore it but who wants to go to court right cease yeah. and desist, just stop did they nope no increased when you when you say methods, you mean that literally methods, literally, literally, they're all on meth. Literally, mm. we call them methed up. They are meth heads. They're all on meth. Well, I mean, I, I never heard. Hold of a second. Let me clarify that. I don't want you to think that everybody in Otter Creek is on meth. I'm talking about the drug addicts or my neighbors yeah. who are dealing meth. OK, so it's those individuals. There are very, very beautiful, precious people here in Otter Creek that we love. And there's some of them that are in the chat and very supportive. And we yes, love them. Yeah. They love us. But it's the meth heads are the ones that obviously are dealing and using meth. Yeah, I should have clarified that when I said that I was talking about the people that have been giving you. Uh, uh, you, you, you were talking about them specifically and you said, you know, the meth heads. So, yeah. So th this is a town with I'd never heard of it. 106 people. Do you feel like uh, do you feel like some of the stuff that you've encountered is maybe because you're exposing some problems there? Well, yes and no. I want to say the problems existed long before we ever moved here. The residents knew of all the problems. We didn't do anything except right. film it. All, all he did was turn on the camera as soon as the previous administration overcharged him for for water. So instead of charging the, you know, the standard residential rate, they try and charge more than double. And that's when the camera came on. Otherwise, if she, if she would have just charged the standard rate, none of this would have been exposed. Except we still would have been stalked by these freaks. That, right. That would have not Lynette changed. and John Crook. And, um, and that's not okay. That's it's, it's honestly, it's not okay. It's not, I want to, I want to emphasize to all the fans out there and the followers on YouTube, it is not okay to stalk any YouTuber that you watch. It's not okay. They have a real life, just like you have a real life and they need to be able to live that real life in real time and not be stalked. Isn't, isn't it frightening that you have to actually say, Hey, uh, maybe you shouldn't stalk people to some folks out there. <laughs> Uh, Frightening, we spent over a million dollars to increase security in our lives mm -hmm. because of Lynette and Crook who have stalked us. So that is insane. the one thing that we have found and that we encourage all of our friends on YouTube, you have to build 
boundaries and security. Security is like number one. Security is number one. It's our biggest fear. Everybody that drives by now. We're like, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen? Every person that we see when we're out, we're like, is it a friend or is it a foe? We don't know. And so security is huge. And it, it's we intentionally are trying to make our lives more secure because we live our lives publicly online. Privacy becomes a premium. And um, and so it, it, we never thought it would ever be like that. No, I mean... Most people who purchase 70 acres, which we did, want seclusion, right? We really right. didn't want to be around people. We wanted to hide on the 70 acres in the event that the world shut down again because of COVID, that we at least had 70 acres to play on. It was like our own little island. And so population, give or take 100 to be to be away from people. And but, since all these court hearings, we actually went to view an island, a nine acre island so that these two could never get to us again. But it wasn't practical without owning a piece of property on the mainland, the dock to get back and forth. So we had to give up that idea of security. Mm -hmm. Did y'all do a lot of research into Otter Creek before you purchased property there? <laughs> uh, no, because I did a lot of research of Cedar Key. Cedar Key is um that away towards the gulf it's on the east coast 10 minutes on, yeah right on the gulf so we i had scheduled i had pre-planned a, a tour of three different three or four different properties when we when we came down here we our first choice was cedar key and so one of the real estate agents twisted twisted our arm to come look at a property in otter creek she and really we we're just did. like no we don't want we don't we're not interested she's like you got to see this piece of property i was like she already showed it to me online i don't want to look at it yeah and she's like no you have to you'll love it she said once he sees the property he'll love it and when we were out in cedar key the the cell service was so poor out there and when we came to view the property in otter creek there was actual cell tower on the property and we had service and that's so important for our YouTube business. And, um, he ended up, he ended up loving the actual property because there's a, there, uh, the actual Creek runs through the property. We have gators. So out, and I'm not joking. We have alligators mm -hmm. and, and so for <laughs> the tons long, of wildlife. long term fans know that I've gone out and captured wild alligators. I've rescued ra wild alligators for sanctuary, things along those lines. So we have our own gators on our property, tons of wildlife, we, you know, everything from foxes to otters to, to deer, to, the list goes on and on and on. Mm. And so it's just a beautiful piece of property that we, we fell in love with. So it was mostly the 70 acres. The, ho the existing house, it used to be a hunting cabin, wasn't that great. But but what, what fit for us was that there was a cell tower, we can get a cell service, and that we were surrounded by woods on the 70 acres. Nobody could find us. I mean, what it came down to is nobody could find us. Mm -hmm. And and we are deep in the woods and nobody could find us. And that was extremely important as that well. That was important. Of course. And it, and it wasn't too far from Cedar Key. I, I get the uh, I get the cell tower thing. I live in uh, rural Tennessee. I've lived in some uh, pretty bad little areas, you know, as far as uh, doing this right here. But yeah, I can get that. I can get how that would be a great selling point. Um, how long were you there before this crazy started kicking up? Let's see. We moved to Otter Creek uh, December of 2020. We came down to look at property November. Uh, November of 2020, put an offer on the Otter Creek property. And then moved down uh, to the campground. There's a campground not too far from here, which which is all on the channel. We vlog our lives. So all of that is on the channel. Anything's going on in our life goes on the channel. So so that was December of 22. So we were waiting of, you mean 2020? 2020, 2020 also. Right. I was we were waiting December for the 22nd. closure. We were waiting for closure of the purchase, which the, happened in February. No. So the house was supposed to close December 22nd, but something that happened happen. and then and then didn't get the keys to the ranch till like January 13th or something like okay, that. Okay, so January. And then the following year they show up the the stalkers. In well, 21. that's 2021. So I mean they're already July, watching us. July she emails what the hails and says, Hey, we're super fans. We just moved across the street. Can you bring your tractor? Help us with a tree that's blocking the driveway. And she lies because she does not own the property. She tells me she owns the property. She's the new neighbor. 
and I'm, I'm I'm neighborly to everybody. So sure. I've got a tractor. They know I have the tractor. We did we did videos on what the tractor could crush mm -hmm. and and having fun with the tractor. And so she lures me onto the property lying that they actually own the property. Which they did, they did not. not. So the they property. had permission to be on the property, but to didn't view have it. to view it, but didn't have permission to bring a tractor to move a dead tree and come cool. to find out looking online she didn't truly physically own that property until october of 2021 so she left after she confirmed yep jeremy and georgia here across the street didn't even put her house up for sale until after she left and took pictures of our at our fence with iconic things that are on our fence line and our property then went back home put her house up for sale then after it sold then put in an offer for the property overpaid for the property because she thought she was going to get so much from us well she didn't have the money to pay for it up front she had to wait for the sale of her house in order to pay for the property yeah i've heard a uh, turtle scamming turtle sanctuary scamming can you can you tell me a little bit about that so we honestly do not think that she loves turtles or tortoises. She, it's all for tax exemptions tax and exemption. for money. It's all about money. Can I get money from people if I say I have a turtle sanctuary? Can I be tax exempt if I have a turtle sanctuary? Um, there. So one of the things that in our earliest videos, which I do not say anymore because of this ridiculousness, mm. I used to make fun of the, the uh, zo zombie that got interviewed on the news who when the newscaster was like, what'd you dress up as? And he just goes, I like turtles. And so I would always say, I love turtles. And so, boy, didn't know that that was going to bling in Lynette's head mm -hmm. and go, I bet he'll give money towards oh, turtle. Yeah. Fans would send gifts that had that, that were of turtles. They would send them customized t-shirts with turtles. And we would, we would open up fan mail on our lives and they, they would, would they, People would see all the gifts that people would send about turtles, patches, keychains, you name it. Anything with turtles on it, our gifts, our fans would gift to him. Be very clear. Moles are in, turtles are out. It's all about the moles now. Moles are in. We actually have a mole trap right here. Yeah, there's a mole <laughs> trap. Oh, yeah. I've had yeah, plenty of those in my yard. <laughs> actually, I love moles. I love moles. I don't love turtles. I hate turtles. I love moles. We've worked with other reptile and other reptile rescues. And so she saw that as an opportunity to jump on the what the hell's bandwagon, get a piece of the pie. And the crazy part is when he, when he, when she lured him in to bring the tractor, July of 2021. The godmother of the adopted child was there. She's the one who told him, hey, she moved here to be close to you. Which is the godmother who we have a recording of who was so high on meth with her and her boyfriend. They were taking a firearm on that property and shooting randomly into the camper, which was stolen Come from to find Indiana. Out stolen. And, and there's a child. And I'm on the road driving by why this person on meth is so high shooting a firearm randomly into the neighborhood and all of the neighbors are in danger. Is is that the secret message to uh, I was listening to uh, Larry earlier and I was listening to, uh, uh, you know, the pages of complaints and a lot of stuff. I was like, what is that about? You know, like, and, what's, that? what's that? What's that? You do you do you think the listeners want to hear part of the secret message? Sure, man. Sure. Okay, anything, now, I, anything I do want to. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, I, I want you to know there's some vulgar language oh, and yeah. YouTube doesn't like vulgar language. I don't know how you feel about that on your. I, I'm uh, totally yeah. OK with vulgar language. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, by the way. Well, here's one thing right here. Here's here's a that picture. Was taken the day of the day the of she lured me in with the tractor on a property she did not own. She goes and takes this is where all the what we found out later, all the meth was being dealt. And so I put up a sign, just drive through, drive through. The crazy leave. neighbor is the one in the headband. And, and then so the godmother in the, is, on the other the side other one. is the one who told him she moved here to be close to you guys. So the godmother is Jamie, who she's going to be talking about in this secret message. And Jamie is the one that got so messed up that she was shooting randomly into the neighborhood. Apparently and there were tiny people hiding in the walls of the camper and the scariest part i'm on the phone with her we're in different states and i'm driving by and i'm telling her shots are fired like this is this is crazy shots are being fired right now mm. and my life is literally in danger by these two every single day and who they bring on the property 
I'm now also dealing with Jamie. She's accusing me of stealing things out of her camper because things were stolen evidently when they took her camper. You know what? You bring a stolen freaking camper to my property. I could have went to jail. I could have lost my child. The last damn thing I freaking care about is the damn hoarding shit that you picked up out of goddamn dumpsters and She's brought to my property. This in front of her it went to the dump and that's where it is. And I'm not going to deal with her anymore either. I've had enough threats from her today. She's lucky she's going to maintain her children because somebody was on meth so bad that they shoot uh, shoot rounds off trying to scare somebody that's not in the walls of her camper. Shouldn't oh, have children, why I'm driving especially down the autistic ones. So I'm at my end, guys. I, I am stretched as far as I can stretch. I, there, there's so much more. I mean, I can show you so much more, but I think you get the point of how yeah. toxic and how dangerous. Dangerous. That's it. I mean, yeah. it, yes, dangerous. That's the thing. Shooting in, non-existent people in the walls. Oh, yeah. That tells you straight up. Meth. And, and meth. we've shared already uh, at a minimum eight different addicts and dealers on the property. Including that, the man that she shares that the with, property with, that who is she, her ex-husband slash paramour slash Which she boy says toy, is extremely abusive. She's she's posted he's financially raped her. Yes. Uh it just it just goes on and on. Very dangerous people. Very dangerous people. She's even said in court, and it's in her petition to the judge that the man that, that he's she abusing shares, her. that he's verbally and emotionally abusive. So you guys start with a cease and desist, correct? What 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 pushed you finally to the hey man, we gotta stop. We I, I just gotta get them to stop this. What was was there a specific event or it was just there there, there are know. there's a bunch of events that just piled on each other. So they they both started, they came into Otter Creek and they started attacking the previous administration, which our fans, your fans aren't gonna understand these names in the timeline of the story, but individual we call Russ the Sus former corrupt mayor who's currently under investigations by the ethic committee ethics committee out of Tallahassee for every for using his authority for sexual favors from the residents to turn their water off when they can't pay for it to it just goes on and on and on and so so they come in they create these Otter Creek politics Otter Creek friends and family Otter Creek this they create these hate pages to attack okay mm -hmm. they start filming Outer Creek um, town hall meetings. There's, and there's signs to join their Facebook group. I've seen, and then there's even signs attacking them, saying that they were corrupt and there's backdoor dealings. And, and they're posting they're posting these signs on their property, which is supposed to be a 501c3, which is illegal because you can't be for or against. And they're going, right. stop the corruption with Russ the Sus, with Stuart Stewart, with Attorney Warm. And there was they, also signs at the post office. And there was a sign at the post office to, to for people to, to join their group. So we're, we're yeah, they're doing whatever they're doing. We're just ignoring them. OK, we just ignore them and we constantly just ignore them. But the residents of Otter Creek are keep saying, man, these two are crazy. The stuff they're posting on these pages. And then they start attacking not only the the previous administration, they start attacking all of the residents. Every you know, you've got you've got long term residents, the Hudson sisters, whose father actually incorporated this little tiny town. And for the good and the betterment of the people, and they start attacking those people. They literally, there was, they would attack anybody and everybody. Falsely ourselves, accusing people of doing oh my things goodness. that didn't even so, exist. So much defamation, so much defamation that they're liable for. And but the the reality is, in this tiny little town, there's not individuals who have the money to go after that for a defamation suit, right? And so they just have to, you know, they would talk to us and they would go, "Well, what should we do?" And I said, "Just." Just ignore it. It'll go away. Ignore it. It'll go away. She starts attacking us because she. we had this big event that uh, was the first meet and greet that we've ever done with our fans. We even had two fans come over from the UK. It was a ton of fun. We called it Half Mill Time to Grill. We had Half Mill because we hit a half a million subscribers. subscribers and and we had, we had um, what our favorite restaurant in the area is, barbecues. And, and so she didn't want to pay. We charged $50 registration fee. Now, this whole event cost me $75,000. 
we had to charge a registration fee. We wanted to do it for free for all of our fans, but we had to charge a registration fee because we had to get T-shirts printed up. We had to get souvenirs printed up. We gave away a ton of prizes, mm -hmm. ton of prizes. Um, and th we had a tremendous amount of expense into this. We fed everybody all you could eat, uh, barbecue. And, and so we had to have a registration fee or we would never know how many shirts or what size to order and mm -hmm. how much food. And, you know, so you can sure. see where this was going. We did a minimal, yeah. but we went 50 bucks means they're serious they're coming we wanted to do it all for free but we had to know that they were actually showing up and so she didn't want to pay and so she messages me and because at this point i'm still saying a todos she says can i bring a tortoise and i was like sure yeah that's fine and then she messages and says well can i bring a donation box well like, absolutely not that is not the purpose of this event whatsoever and she just went off the hook that's and when so everything spiraled because there's we even have proof that she was going to launch her YouTube channel. Yeah, she wanted to launch her YouTube use channel our fan base. all of our fan base. But she's she's opposed that we make money on YouTube. It's but wrong. She for wanted to send money. money. Mm -hmm. She wanted all the money from our fans and from the promotion and from us. And and but now in court, oh, they make money off of YouTube. Which <laughs> the reality is, any money we make off of YouTube, we gift back. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the reality is as well. I'm I'm, gonna, I'm just going to clearly state this: if you spend one million dollars, okay. And you make $1 million, how much money is left? Zero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how much money we make. Sure. All the money we make, we spend into creating content and then giving back to people. And so she had a massive problem with we wouldn't allow her to actually get money from, from our fans. And her, her biological family and stepdaughters who have all... They want nothing to do with her at all. Mm. They'll all tell you the same thing. As soon as she doesn't get what she wants, she goes after you. And she's gone after all of them. She's made FBI phone calls on them. It, it, the, the list goes on and on. And you're going to, honestly, in the final hearing in court, you're all going to hear this because they're coming to witness and testify. So She's called Child Protective Services on them. And, and she has put, she has destroyed, destroyed their, lives. their lives destroyed their for lives for decades for decades and so no one in her family has ever contacted us to support her or to defend her they've all contacted us to warn us about her continuing pattern of behavior and that um and that one of them confirmed that her the only reason why she moved here was to for the for Jeremy to promote her turtle rescue and to give for money her grandson for money. a job. Yeah, she's she's telling she's telling everybody that I'm gonna hire her grandson and give him housing and, when that, and housing when that conversation never happened. I mean, the insanity that comes out of this woman's mouth, they're extremely unhinged, extremely dangerous. And so the whole community is going, man, there's something way, way wrong. They've witnessed her hitting the child in the head with the palm of her, of her hand at multiple meetings, multiple occasions. I mean, the stuff that's going, they're living literally in filth, filth. They there left are... a home in wherever, in Northport where they were living to come live in a shed with no indoor plumbing. So they're illegally, they have the child illegally in a shed right now. No occupancy permit whatsoever in the state of Florida is illegal to live in a shed. This is not a tiny home. There is no permitting. There is no occupancy permit. They're illegally in a shed. They got a washer and a dryer in a shed that they're dumping gray water onto the ground in Florida, which you cannot do because the water table is literally right there. Right. I mean, the list goes on and on. They can't have, they can't have a reptile farm within a quarter mile of any residence. And yet we're right there. And so are others. And so the list goes on and on what they do illegally. So the residents of Otter Creek are going, man, what is going on? What is going on? And I went, listen, I'm going to start exposing this because this is out of control. We send a cease and desist first. We're like, this better stop. Sure. This better stop immediately. All that did was increase. We went, all right. We're going we're gonna to share what's really going on. This child is in danger. The people in Otter Creek, the residents are in danger. And these animals are being neglected and abused. There's and even locals that are afraid to drive on the road because they're afraid they're going to be shot at. Because there was a black Jeep that looked just like mine driving by. And a witness, an eyewitness said that she saw John shooting a gun 
to try and intimidate the driver. And I, I thinking was, it was like, her thinking driving. it was me, but I was in Ohio at the time. I got and, uh, Larry, by the way. I'm just going to, I'm going to add him. I just want to note that. Larry, what's up, Larry? Hey, hey. Boom. How's it hey. going? It's going we good, don't... man. I'm I'm catching up some of that. Look, I mushed the picture up more. You got to get in close. And look at that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm got exactly. stack. No, I'm just playing. I'll, I'll just... What are you think you're doing? <laughs> this is YouTube. We ain't like that. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Give me uh, out. Yeah. No, I mean, so in, in this timeline, when did the, there were certain flyers that accused you of very heinous things. How, oh, where did those flyers come in? Those are signs. They were handwritten um, signs. Do you have Do you have a picture of one of them? Yes. I, I don't want to show. I don't okay. want to show the the. Well, I'll show you. I'll show this one. I don't want to show the handwriting experts okay. report because I know Judge I've got is one. Go crazy if I show. I'm that. gonna show one. There were there were nine signs front and back. I'll show one of the nine. And the crazy part is, we already knew who actually wrote these. Okay, so I hope you understand. We knew who wrote them, but she kept running to the courthouse saying, Jeremy broke the injunction again. He sang a song about turtles and everybody knows it's us. Jeremy said the bad neighbors and everybody knows we're the bad neighbors. And that was when we could actually give more evidence <laughs> to, the, video. to the handwriting expert and say, can you prove who wrote these? And she went, yep. It was Lynette Preston. All right, let me see if I can get this. Can you full screen us? Yes. This will work a whole lot better if you full screen. Ba bam. Okay. Here we go. Come on, get my fingers out of there. Oh, no. Oh, one even says Holy I raped shit. your daughter. Oh, one no. says I raped your daughter. So, again, that's one of the nine si signs that were from Double sided. Back. Yeah, one e one even says I raped her daughter. Yet the the ironic part is, Levy County Sheriff were never ever contacted. No agencies were contacted. Uh, there wasn't even an attempt at an injunction. Uh, but these allegations have been made, and the handwriting expert will confirm one hundred percent it is her, and she will be going down and be and she will be guilty of defamation. There is absolutely no doubt about it, and perjury. The amount of lies this woman has told under oath is insane yeah that one i can based on the i just started reading the the injunction on my channel tug and i think the hails is were in there for a minute and so were you so you know it, it, i think you know up until now it was like look i don't know if you got her on perjury if you got her on defamation whatever oh i can almost all but confirm now that i know the facts and now that the world knows the facts um absolutely perjuries on the table yeah absolutely and i know you probably got some questions like ak-47s cannons yes, that's the um, cannon is my favorite part it was like the way she described it it's like you're pointing this this massive cannon at her house and threatening you know life-threatening things but then when she she had the, the the transcript of the video when you talk about it i was cracking up because i could see you talking and i'm like you know what would be funny like to point a cannon at her. And she's like, he's going to point a cannon at my house. Like, ah, I'm in danger. <laughs> and I'm like, no, you idiot. Like, do you know what sarcasm means? Well, wow. that, well, let's let me show you the cannon. But I was listening to you. And in her petition, I didn't catch this before. And I got to make sure I, I touch base with my attorneys. She literally posted in her petition. And we've done a whole video on her petition and everything you were going through. And yeah. in her petition, I didn't catch this before. She outright states, he tells everybody not to contact us. And then she goes on to say, and everybody knows that means to contact us. She states that I state, don't ever contact her. Hashtag there buckle is up. no need for an <laughs> Buckle up indeed. Because I think that portion was in the evidence log, which the judge threw out anyways because it was hearsay. She had a friend named Lizzie help her type that up, but she had multiple people helping them, helping her type that up. And De Thomas has already threw it all out as hearsay. Okay, we do own a cannon. You okay. ready for this? Are you ready? Uh, now there is this. there is an apple. There's an apple on top of it for size comparison. You're probably going to have yeah, to I'm gonna have false. Yeah, it's brother, guy. There. No, you're good. All right. This is a tiny Winchester cannon. It shoots a shotgun shell. 
And it's about a $500 uh, little cannon. And you can see by the size of the apple. And then in the back there, you put a shotgun shell in there. And that that Did is you just the say a, a mini little $500 cannon? Yeah, that's, um, that's, that's, that was a storage unit. Find. That's a storage unit. Fine. That's the cannon right there. That looks which, like a toy. Now, as you as you mentioned, oh, we can't. And you were reading the transcripts. Oh, we can't. We can't point it towards the 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 cell tower. That's the direction she is. The cell tower. Yeah, so, but you know, to be to be fair, you might take out one of those non-existent people in the walls. I mean, well, you know. I mean, I think I think her bestie Jamie. The people hiding in the walls of the camper. The stolen yep. camper. Yeah. Now AK-47s. You were talking, Larry, about AK-47s as well. Yeah. And so, George, why don't you talk about the AK-47? So, so John Cook posted that the only reason why Jeremy and I went to Egypt was so that I could recruit my radical Muslim family to build a mosque in Otter <laughs> Creek, insinuating that my family are terrorists. So you also Wait, they're not? Look. I thought all Muslims are terrorists, period, the end. Is that not, not true? Not even Muslim. <laughs> so, oh, my God. I've been misinformed my entire life. They watched two months of us in Egypt. We were, we were in the Great Pyramids. We were everywhere. We got to do some incredible things. And so sounds like fun. It was amazing. Here, I'll and, show up this, the, I'll pull up the And screenshot. so everywhere we went, I'm a six foot two, huge white guy amongst small Arabic people. Okay. And everywhere you go, everywhere we went, I was stopped with AK 47s. Now, Crook and Lynette That's normal, knew by this. the way, for those of you who have not been to the Middle East. Yeah, this is absolutely normal. So Crook and Lynette already know this because, by the way, in court under oath, they said they've watched maybe three, four, maybe videos. Even in her petition, she goes on about, I've been watching all the member only videos. And, and so it's all perjury. It's all lies. It's all lies. So we've also been sexually harassed by these individuals talking about jamming stuff up our rectums. Um, oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. So this one, you may not have to full screen. I believe I heard from a very reliable source that the reason they went to Egypt was recruit some of George and Martha's family to bring them to Otter Creek because they want to turn the ark. That's the building we're in right now into a radical Muslim mosque, making her happy to have her family here. So they can always scream racist. People are bothering them. Now, what you need to understand after he posted that and they saw all the AK-47s in Egypt and all the harassment. And he's already pulled firearms on us. And she's already posted she's going to pop a cap in our backsides. And all the things John has said he's going to jump jam up our rectums. Everything from a piano to... We've got thousands and thousands. <laughs> How big is that ass, Jeremy? <laughs> really? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, he was spreading rumors that I have rectal cancer because he's obsessed. He's with obsessed the spreading more than just rumors. He's obsessed with butt. He is he is obsessed obsessed with with the weird is spreading. Obsessed with butt. Yeah. So, my response to that is, we're going to protect our property. And so he's telling he's he's posting he's posting and saying horrific things about her family. I went, let's just bring both families in. We'll 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 protect our property. We'll. Give them all AK-47s. Now, the reference is to Egypt, and there is nothing illegal about me bringing family members or them holding firearms and protecting our property. Nothing at the, all. The judge even says that. There's nothing and illegal about In what he hearing said. number one, Judge DeThomas actually says that to Lynette. Says, first of all, this is all hearsay. And second of all, there's nothing illegal about this at all. I'm allowed to protect my property. Now, there's sarcasm in what I said, right? I mean, I think you two both understand. They're sorry. Reading the transcript, Jeremy, reading the transcript, I could detect the, like sarcasm detected. Like I can tell oh, yeah. even from a transcript, anybody can kind of be, gauge, let alone from the video. It's, I think if I watched the video, there'd be no question at all. But like from a transcript, it was too easy. I, I'm telling you, watch that little portion of me reading the can. I literally I, I, I broke down laughing because I was like, this we, we this saw. is what she's worried about. Seriously. As as the man on her property who she claims abuses her, but she is yet to get an injunction on him. She claims he's abusive, but yet he's the one in the Jeep for hours upon hours upon hours with this four-year-old. And this is the what this man posts online. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Not that one. Hold a second. We had to we had to redact part of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Here's what this man posts online. Jeremy, would you like me to post? You're probably going to have to full screen for this one. All right. I'm sorry. 
No, this good. Even works this way. Okay, here we go. Jeremy, would you like me to post the picture of my blank in her mouth? You can you can't take this one down. I can't I can't even begin to tell you the amount of sexual harassment we've had from, from these Being people. called a sand N-word and calling him a F boy and they're just sick, disgusting people. Yeah. All because of what? Because of money. Because they didn't get money. That and they, they didn't get the publicity that and, they wanted. And now they got more promotion than they ever dreamed of. <laughs> yeah, they that's really true. did. That is yeah, a they, good point. Yeah. They got a lot of name recognition for sure. Even nicknames. That's awesome. They could mm -hmm. start a Lynette channel. or. Well, the reason why we use nicknames is to protect the guilty. And so mm -hmm. we didn't want to use their real names. So the aspect of going, well, she's a pathological liar. Her first name is Lynette. We have found which I know Larry was talking about this in her petition as well, that we we doxed her name. Okay, well, first of all, her names are all under Google search. You can't dox something that's public information. We have found 39 different aliases for this woman. When And they jump state to state to state. They burn every bridge. They screw everybody over. The scam is done. The con is over. They go somewhere else. She changes her name. Right now, she oh. wants to be known as Michelle. Her right. legal daughter's name is Michelle. She's conning people under her legal daughter's name. And her her biological daughters know her as Lacey. That's why she has so many and different nicknames and middle Lacey names. is her, I know Larry was laughing about this, like, no way. Lacey is her stripper name. Her stage so name. And, look, was, and I will say this. I, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not here to judge anyone for their profession. I, I'm of the opinion that sex work is work to, you know, you, I, I'm not going to judge you for the way you want to make money. You want to sell your body as long as you're you're not like doing it in secret from like someone you love and like lying about it. I'm gonna judge it. Who wants to see that? Okay, That's nasty. Right. that I'm not saying I'm, I want to see it. I'm too. saying you I'm not gonna help. judge her for her means of making a living if that's the way she wants to make a living. Okay, well, that's the means right come now. See, come is begging from YouTubers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't. This is terrible to say. I didn't. I actually thought her name was. I thought that was a nickname, Lynette. I didn't realize that was her real name. Her legal first name is Lynette. Yeah, we call well, her Lynette. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize it, it was so close. Man. I, I got a. I got a northern accent. So, like, so yeah. you know, when the judge when the judge yells at me, I'm sorry, judge. I'm from the north. We say Lynette, not Lynette. And then John Crook. His last name is Cook, but he's a crook. They're scam. They are. They're professional con and scammers, and yet she professional is the wrong word. They're unprofessional yeah. because they suck they're at it. Terrible at it. Right. She even has a criminal background of of theft, which she lies about in her petition. So, so how oh, we haven't gotten to that point yet. So, I, I don't have that information yet. We got through. Can you believe, Tug? We we spent three hours. Well, including some distractions and super chats, granted. But let's say two and a half hours of pure reading, give or take. I can. We I got through 10%. To it. I was like, holy crap. 10%. 10%. Because there's a supplemental. So we're down 40 pages and we have about 350 ish to go with the supplemental. Somebody I mean, was... in the chat said she's crying at. Crying at. <laughs> I like that one too. That's funny. Uh, so after the cease and desist doesn't work, where does it go? Um, she, so then she falsely accuses us. We live on a road that's very short, 25 miles per hour speed limit. She falsely accuses us of driving 70 miles up to 70 miles per hour. On She's the posting road. this all on these hate pages. We're driving 70 miles an hour down the road. We know you her know daughter is are. a runner. Mm -hmm. We're going to kill her daughter as if we're responsible to keep her daughter out of the road. Out of the road. Right? Yeah. Not to mention I have diesel trucks. All right. For the, sh for the road, you can't get up to 70 miles per hour in that limited amount of space. And we own more road frontage than anybody else on the road. And so we're driving by our home, our property, not hers, right? Hers is 1.6, ours mm -hmm. is 70 plus. But um, it goes to the point of, we, we talked to our lawyer here in Florida and we go, listen, we've got to have injunctions. We have to have protection orders against these two. And he goes, Florida is a, doesn't work like that. He goes, you've got to have two committed crimes. And on the third crime, then you can get an injunction on them. And he goes, they ha it has to be committed crime. It has to be they got charged. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding. I was like, so 
So they could shoot me once. That's not enough if I stay alive. They can shoot me again. That's not enough if I stay alive. But when they kill me on the third time in Florida, I can get an injunction. Because you're not in a relationship and you're not domestic. And and he goes, together. are you related to them? I said, do I have teeth? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not related to them. They don't have teeth. Which <laughs> those are all gone because of drugs. But um, he, he goes, it's not going to happen in Florida. And so we're, we're just defeated. We're just like, oh, my goodness, this is never going to stop. And then we go back home up north, and then she contacts. So let, we let get me a back phone up. Call from the mayor. Actually, can you pull up that video where he stalks us to the property? Yes. So here's how stupid they are. Okay. And I mean this wholeheartedly, and I don't want anybody to misinterpret me. They are freaking stupid. Okay. So, John Crook, I fly back for a town hall meeting. John Crook films himself stalking me and trespassing on it my shows property. His name at the top. Okay. And then you can hit play. Now you can you hold the microphone so they can hear. This is Crook filming himself. Well I'm heading over to the Jeremy's house. Can you hear that okay? Yeah. I think I just seen the mayor's husband doing stuff to Jeremy. Yes. There he goes. Uh-huh. That's our 78. We'll wait for him to come off the property. You like that? Stop oh, yeah. trespassing. And so we can't get an injunction. He gets in his vehicle. At, oh, by the way, afterwards, he says, touch my vehicle and see what goes bang. He threatens to shoot me again because I come back out of my property. I'm so sick and tired of his sexual harassment. I'm so sick and tired of all of the things he's posted about her, her family, myself, all the residents of Otter Creek. So I, the, the last time, the month before, he pulls a firearm out on me and he goes, I'll go to toe to toe with you at any time. So I'm so done with it. I'm like, get out. Let's go. Let's go toe to toe. And he goes, you touch my vehicle, you see what goes bang. Another threat to shoot me. So the coward won't get out of his vehicle as he as he stalks me, then trespasses on my property. This is all court evidence, by the way, which has been used in Ohio and here in Florida. So if you look in, if the, you look in the mirror, mirror, you see he's on my property, he's stalking. Mm -hmm. It's hard on the video. And or in so, the side mirror. So he's calling me an F and this, and he's calling me a P. He's calling me a uh, camel toe. He's calling me a uh, a very happy man. And I'm repeating after, you know, repeating what he's saying and throwing it right back at him. Well, if you're not a, you know, camel toe, get out of your vehicle. Let's go toe to toe. So they send this video to our mayor in our village up north. And our mayor contacts and says, listen, this lady, Lynette, she's been contacting. She's told my secretary three times, if I don't call her back, she's going to call the news like, who does she think she, we don't even have news here. And, the and local she, news. So they, she tells our mayor that um, they, they need to push us out of town. We need to be gone out of town. And at that point we go, this is beyond enough. We're, so we go live on September 3rd and we say, we're, we already have it already scheduled. We've got our lawyers all set up. We're going to the courthouse tomorrow morning on Monday to file for civil protection orders. Days later, she runs. They mimic everything we do. And there is a danger in, I'm very transparent and I'm very open. And she's always like, hey, would you stop showing your cards? And so I'm very transparent and very open and trust people a lot, mm -hmm. which is a danger when so many people are trying to get things from you. And so I announced, we, we're already have it scheduled. We'll be at the courthouse tomorrow morning. Days later, she runs into Levy County to try and get an injunction. And at some point, Judge DeThomasis, after denial and denial, 
actually grants her a hearing. And, and we we obviously we get civil protection orders against her. We pursue first. And and then she tries to mimic and mirror. Like Mayor Dan's in the chat. Oh, Mayor Dan's in the chat. That's what they're saying. Oh, so, so Mayor Dan's in the chat. He boy, he could tell you all about it. Actually, we did a video with him about we, it. He we get a call and he goes, I just got a strange email from the Lynette. some crazy Lynette. lady. <laughs> so he, our mayor from our village up north, he's in the chat. I mean, he can tell you how crazy so we record and unhinged request, we record she requested it and got a copy of it. So at that point, we went, all right, this this has got to end. This is we're not even in Florida right now. This has got to end. They won't stop. And so we announced we already we already have our legal team. We're going tomorrow morning. We're getting the civil protection orders. And then they they try and mimic and mirror. And the Thomas's at some point, maybe months later, I think months later, actually gives and grants a hearing, which blows our mind. Blows our mind because even Especially in her petition, after what your attorney told you that it's almost nearly impossible to get, especially if you're not in a relationship. And so even in her petition, she states because Larry just read it and I forgot about it. She states he tells everybody, do not contact us. And then Larry goes on to read the petition and she goes on to say, and everybody knows that means contact them. No, it doesn't. It literally means do not contact them. She's a, she's a walking, talking contradiction. And if you ever read her long run on sentence, it takes a while to, to grasp what she's trying to say because she doesn't use punctuation. And it's always one long run on sentence. And Mayor Dan is a phenomenal individual and, and somebody I would call a friend. As a matter of fact, last time I flew back to Ohio because I had contempt of court from them violating the civil protection orders, Dan and I got to sit down, go out to lunch. And uh, I respect him. Uh, here's the thing. Madam Mayor's in the chat. As oh, well. Madam Mayor is too. And Madam Mayor, I respect them. Here's the thing with me and George. Almost everybody we meet, we're friends with. Mm. The, the, the I trust. I'm. I was voted most friendly. You know, you get superlatives in high, in high school. school. Yeah, I graduate with 400. They're like, who's the friendliest in the 400? It's Jeremy Hales. I get. You know, they they give me a Mr. Good Bar. I'm a very very friendly individual. But if you try and steal from me or you lie from me or hurt somebody I love, and I've got a problem with that. And so these I would here, too. Here's yeah, the well, you should. And months and months and months we just waited. The town of Otter Creek waited for them to stop, and they would not stop. We pay for a cease and desist. They enhance it. We get a civil protection order. They enhance it even more. They threaten to call CPS not on, stop. on patients, unborn child. Yeah, they post that they're they're calling, and by the way, their fans and their followers are calling CPS on my employee's unborn child. Now, if there's an issue, if there's a safety issue with a child, by all means, call call Children's Protective Services. If you see something, you need to say something. But the child isn't even born, and these two are phenomenal parents. They have a beautiful home, I know, because I own it, and I give it to them as housing as part of their compensation as well, which all goes back to where she thought I was going to hire her grandson and give give him a house. So with my employees, one of the things I do, I don't want them to worry about housing. I don't want them to worry about mortgage and things like that and utilities. I take care of, I do salary and I take care of all that as well. So they don't have to think about that stuff. And so her trying to say, well, Jeremy's going to give my son a job. We have these, we have all the screenshots. It's ridiculous. Did, it's crazy. Did, it's crazy. Did CPS arrive on any of that, by the way? Just curious. So, so Prior to that, prior to Jeremy calling CPS, because we physically have been on her property. I've been on her property at least three times. He's been on her property more than once because she's messaged so many times saying, hey, can you bring your tractor over? Or, One time is too many. Hey, can I have this? Can I have this leap pad for my daughter that I saw on your video? If she would watch all of our videos, our treasure hunting. and she Can would I text, have the power wheel for my daughter? Can I have, that? Can I have this? Can I have that? Can I have this? Can I have that? Can I have this? And so the... The first time I've ever been on her property, the entire time I had to breathe through my mouth because they had rotting food spread all over the property. And it was to build the soil because they wanted to build a garden and you can't really build a garden because Florida is all sand. Well, especially in this area, it's all sand. And so the, the living conditions was just disgusting and we ignored it. 
And then uh, we've been on the property after that to give the leap, the leap frog, the leap pads, two leap pads. So I did give two leap pads to the child, not and nothing to the adults, to the child. And then I've been on the property by myself because she messaged him wanting to give bread to our, our animals, our chickens. That she gets from a food bank. And so same thing, rotting food every time we went there throughout the property. And they have this child that is, is that has a metabolic disorder that's life threatening and anything can kill her. Pause so right there. Pause right there. Because Larry was was getting into this as well. All right. So Lynette exploits the child for fundraising, which is disgusting. she doesn't work. No, that does John. Is that? She exploits the child. Disgusting. Life threatening. She's going to die. No. She can't eat proteins and you manage that with a diet, okay? There's plenty of high-functioning individuals in this world who have the exact same thing and they have no problem in That life. are treated like a normal kid and it's not dramatized the way she does it. And then she says her child is, is disabled. Who isn't exploited to try and get money from people. She, and then she dramatizes it to get sympathy and donations. You, you manage Go it by diet. You can't you can't digest the protein, okay? You don't eat the protein. Everything is fine. She's she's launched so many GoFundMe's to try and exploit her child. It's just disgusting, and that's not okay. And so and so we would drive past the property because every day we leave the ranch house, the 70 acres, to get to the schoolhouse. Which is what we're in right now, the school. On the public road, right? And mm -hmm. you have to drive past her disgusting property, which was a dump for at least 10 years prior to her buying it. And so <clears throat> there was piles of rotting food all over again, because they try to build the soil and you see the Muscovy duck in it. Wait, eating pause the right larva. there. Pause right there. Rotting food that they were getting from Winn-Dixie illegally. One of the meth heads, one of the drug addicts was illegally without the backdoor manager's deal. notice doing a backdoor deal, giving it to them. Then they were trading it with local homeless people or other addicts for work. They would trade this rotten food for work on their property, putting liability completely and totally on Winn-Dixie, even feeding it to the child who has a life-threatening disease. And you go, Jeremy, can you say that? Isn't that defamation? We have all the screenshots of them posting it. They're so dumb. They've posted all of this and we have it all. This was another drug addict who's in jail right now who was doing this behind the manager's back. It was all illegal. So so I, so when she was falsely accusing us of speeding, doing miles of up to 70 miles per hour, which is not even possible, I told Jeremy, so why don't you just slow down then? Go as slow as possible. So he took the idea and then started recording all the death traps on their property from the road. They had a refrigerator that was not chained sitting out on their property for months. We would drive past it for months. That little girl could have went in the, into the fridge suffocated and, and, died. and trapped herself and suffocated to die if she truly is a runner. The only reason that thing is gone to this day is because I filmed the dangers. So as George said, I even forgot about this. They were complaining that we would speed. So I would go as slow as possible. And this is our YouTube filming phone. We just, we just use a phone for everything we do. So I would go as slow as possible and I would just, I'd drive down the road as slow as possible. And, and it's perfectly legal to film. And I would film all the death traps and everything that was going on there. So that's when John came out. Fi points a firearm and, at me. And brandishes a gun at him. Tells me he'll go toe to toe with me anytime, but he won't. And then talks about him being in a gay adult porn movie. He goes, he's, he talks about saying he'll see me in gay porn, which again, he's watching gay porn. Apparently, things apparently looking career. for me. I was about to say, doesn't, isn't that like a self admission? Oh, yeah. Because how would you know? <laughs> I don't know any gay porn stars other than like, maybe, you know, uh, like you go to these conventions and like they walk past and somebody be like, Hey, that's a gay porn star. I'd be like, Oh, cool. I had no idea. But if they're like, yeah, I've seen you in gay porn. It's like, what kind of porn are you watching, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> That's the kind that he enjoys watching. To each their own. To each, to their, each own. their own. I mean, yeah, not judging, happen. but just, you know, it's kind of, how would you know? Maybe that's why they're divorced. Ah, big brain. I mean, that explains a lot about their relationship. They they live in two separate things. But she's living illegally in an illegal shed. children's services made them split up 
and she and the child are in a shed illegally and, and he's, he's in, a in a camper illegally. You're allowed to have a camper on your property while you're building a home. They're not building a home. They have no money to build a home. They illegally have a camper on the property to, to date to this day. And she's illegally. So children services made them split after all she said about him being abusive. So that's why she's illegally in a shed. So immediately they post on Facebook, do we have any local scrappers that can come pick up a fridge? And uh, there was piles of sharp rocks. There was, uh, she's got broken glass all over the property, rusted nails. She's got uh, sharp rock piles, sharp uh, scrap metal piles. And again, she has a child that's a runner and that, that's life-threatening metabolic disorder. And, and anything the, can kill her. The only reason anything has gotten better is because of that this camera. This camera. Yeah. I, I, I just I can't I can't imagine it. I have a four year old. I have a four year old daughter, and I cannot imagine. If you saw camera. the way this four year old is living, it would it's not gut be wrenching. Okay. It's gut wrenching to any parent. Any parent who actually is knows it in your videos, Jeremy? Like when you when you drive past the house, yeah. like can you yeah. see like all this stuff? Because yeah. I I made a point today. I think it was a very interesting point. It's kind of like evolving as we're doing this thing. And one of these things that just came to me in the chat was like, yeah, that's basically spot on. Is the fact that imagine if she instead of directing all this hate, we already talked about her creating her own YouTube channel. We just take her camera, like you said, the most powerful thing that she has. And literally just walk around the property and be like, look at all these tortoises and how and how beautiful they are and how everything is going well and yada, 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 you know, <laughs> and, and like Jeremy's a liar. And here's the proof. But she doesn't do that. Why? Because I think we all know there the yeah. proof would shoot we her in the foot. We also have fish and wildlife body, cam, body cam out there of all the nastiness. I mean, one turtle didn't even have any water, any water pool. They're killing them. And we have posts of her killing them and posting that she they died. On her you've own, seen on you've her seen public. like deceased tortoises with like they're them discarding shells and shit. No, she'll post it on her public turtle rescue page that she lost another reptile, and it's, it's just and then she on, on her five hundred one three C that she has a yeah. website. Wait, we can access this right now. What's the website? I don't, well, we don't, don't want to promote it. I don't want to promote oh, it. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, my, my bad. You can, okay. I'm I don't want to promote over here. anything. Like, are you I don't want to promote me? anything of hers, but I will show you. I think Touché. I still have You know, it. that's probably a good idea. I, I'm sorry. I'm I'm in my lawyer brain. I forget that there's also publicity involved. Yeah, and so we are not about promoting them or anything they've she done. She did get three violations. That's what they want. They want when you Fish to and like, wild, yeah. when Fish and Wild game went to their property, she did get three violations. Okay, I'm about to show you. This sign is on a four by eight sheet. And while John was in the hospital with a knee issue, she begged me to come over with the tractor and pull it up and take it down. And I said, no, this I'm not coming on your erect. property. The sign so was erect. The sign... Now what they do now is they just mow around it and it says, weed whack. Whoops, weed I'm sorry, around. they don't have a mower. They weed whack around it. All right, let me get back to it. And it says, stop the corruption, backdoor deals in Otter Creek, vote out Russell Meeks and Stuart Stewart. And now keep in mind, this is around an election and this is a 501c3. They are illegally saying they are against Russell Meeks and Stuart Stewart. And they don't even, they don't, why, why would you weed whack around the sign? Pick the sign up and burn it, get rid of it. Why are you weed whacking? By the way, they weed whacked around that sign because Children's Services was coming out for another investigation. She had messaged him saying, hey, can you bring your tractor and take the sign down? I, while John was in the hospital, cause he was dying. He was dying. By the way, everybody in her life is dying. Dying. You, you said they respond, you know, they mimic everything that that's happened, it, whether you do it or basically not. Uh, did they call CPS after like you were talking about on your employee? Did they call CPS? You know, as they, a actually did. they posted. They posted. I don't know that they actually ever did. Okay. I mean, you would have heard. They've done a lot of garbage. Heard. Yeah. But and so because we've exposed the living conditions and we've exposed the body cam footage from fish and uh, wildlife. They were forced to clean up their property and make it decent looking. 
Um, so you did a good thing. You actually alerted the authorities exactly. and now they're, you've corrected a negative behavior. Like, sorry to interrupt, but like I, no, I you, the way I treat my profession, people say like, Larry, you defend drunk drivers. No, I make cops better cops because of the shit that they pull on the street, arrest the wrong people. And I teach him how to be a better police officer and do right things on the street. That's what you did with Lynette. You, you alerted the proper authorities to me, this was what it sounds like, of mistreating of reptiles on her property. They came, they examined, and she admitted to it. She admitted to it in the thing that we were reading. They came to my property. They said, fix this. You have algae growing in your water. And she's like, okay, well, we'll fix it. Well, that whole video problem. is up on our channel. But do you, do you understand by exposing it, like you're saying, Living conditions for the animals got better. Living yes. conditions for the child got better. Could you imagine if I didn't expose anything? The child could have died in know. that freezer. I don't want to think about that. Yeah. It's horrible. It's horrific to even imagine, right? Well, she, she talks about how anything can kill her, but who, you know who almost killed her? Go ahead. The child. You know who almost killed the child and she made a video about it? And according to Lynette. According to her, John did. How? What? How? He gave the child a virus, a deadly virus, RSV, and it. She ended up getting um, a feeding tube from it, respiratory and upper lungs, seizures, and seizures from it. So she claims John Crook almost killed the child, but leaves sure. but leaves the child alone with him in the jeep. The abuser, in the, jeep, the abuser who almost killed her while she's in court for hours and hours and hours, or while she's in town hall meetings, breaking for the civil hours and hours and hours. And hours. The last break of the civil protection order, they showed up at town hall meeting last Tuesday for an hour and a half, refused to leave until Levy County Sheriff finally made them leave. But the meeting was over. Mm -hmm. Now we have to take that all back to the Ohio courts. The Ohio courts are going to mandate that they actually show up for this contempt of court in person. There will be no more Zoom. They'll be arrested. And if they don't show up, there'll be a warrant for their arrest. So, so yeah, the, the neglect of the child. So yeah, he, Jeremy did call once and he did announce it, but she falsely accused him of calling two other times before that. And then falsely accused other locals of calling and then falsely accused a couple that meth, meth had couple that she hired living on her property calling. She just falsely accuses everyone, everybody, everyone, everybody. Every, and I guarantee you, you're going to see her, you're going to see her at the end of all of this. She's going to state that she's a victim of Joshua Silverman, her attorney, and she's going to start falsely accusing him of things as well. And it always goes the same route. It starts with she's a victim of his abuse and control. And then it goes all the way to the extreme that he was doing something inappropriately sexually with children. You can watch her pattern of life. That's an she's MO. done That's this her with MO. her own family For members. Her own family. Every guy that they ever dated was some type of rapist or uh, a registered offender or has domestic violence charges she's and sick it she's just sick. it just rolls off her tongue like it's nothing she's sick and she's never been held accountable and this time she's being held accountable mm. and her so own family her own blood her own daughters are coming to court to testify against her and they they reach and out she's to mad you. that you I, they Sorry, Todd, go ahead. No, I was going to say, like, she accused you of reaching out and trying to, you know, weaponize all these people. That. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And apparently they reached out to, to him, Tug. They're Everybody. the ones who are, like, yeah. reaching out to him. And she's accusing him of reaching out yep. to them. It's Again, it, it's the it's the DARVO, you know. Uh, what's the acronym? I forget the actual acronym. But it's like, take the, uh, take the one that's pot calling the kettle black. DARVO, it's all the same thing. So we have never, ever reached out to anybody. Everybody has reached out to us. Mm -hmm. We have never reached out to anybody. By the way, D Darvo is deny, attack, reverse victim, and offender. That's there you I, go. Yeah. And that is, I mean, that's what you're hearing here. You know, that and just so there. everybody's clear in the chat, we never reached out to that umbrella guy or Larry Foreman, the DUI guy. No, nope. you guys reached they out to all us. No, I reached out. it. Yes, very much. Yep. So. Megan Fox reached out to <laughs> us. And so uh, we've never reached out to anybody in regards to this. No, I was. Actually, Contact. I heard about this from uh, Larry and then uh, and Megan Fox. Both of them, they were like, "This is, this is a huge, huge miscarriage of justice. Need to look into this." And I mean, <laughs> the stuff I heard from the that interview from with Larry. By the way, people should check that out. I just, I was like, "This is unreal. It's unreal, and it's unreal how long this has been going on." What's the time frame on all of uh, 
all of the court stuff alone. So, so she got a court hearing that was supposed to occur sometime, um, I believe in October of 2023, but, or no, September of 2023. So we went so and we filed, were, then she went and filed and then she was denied, denied, and then she was granted one, but we were already granted. We had the ex parte or without hearing, and then we had the hearing and that was in October. And then we've got the civil protection orders. Then we came down here. Yes. Then we were served. So the, per I was served. the permanent uh, civil protection order that the Ohio judge granted against Lynette and John, the date on that, I believe, is 11-1. I don't so remember they were, in the car. They were founded to be guilty of cyber stalking us and then other things that they did um, to us online and uh, John with brandishing the gun. And so, and so the, the judge, the judge couldn't get Jeremy served, even though he said he could have someone judge notarize, notarize a piece of paper anywhere on the planet, but couldn't serve him paperwork in Ohio to come to Florida in order to attend the hearing. So the first hearing occurred in November of November 29th of last year. And the very first place we go in Florida when we come from Ohio to Florida is we the, announced it. the Levy County Sheriff's Station the night before we had a live stream. And we told everybody, first place we're going, Levy County Sheriff's Station. And it was to pick up the court paperwork, but also to give Levy County Sheriff our civil protection orders. And guess who shows up within five minutes? Lynette and John Crook, and it's all on video, and it's all on the channel. And they, they don't, they us. don't leave immediately either. They go, she goes and parks right next to his truck and trailer, which they previously have stated that they're going to throw nails all over and our driveway trackers on the and trackers on our trailers and everything. And they're at, the, they stalk us because of the live the night before waiting for us to be at the Levy County Sheriff's Station. It's insanity. And I'm panicking because out of all the places she could have pulled out and pulled into in the parking lot, she parks by the truck and trailer. And I'm thinking, oh my God, is she going to run out and put a tracker on the trailer? What are they doing? And then one of the lieutenants, I think his title is, came out to try to escort him because he wanted to, he had a cough. He got sick and got cough, wanted a drink from his, from, from the truck. And I go out and guess who's in the the parking lot? Lina and Crook. I mean, it's insane. It's insane. Day one being back in Florida. The only stop we make in Florida, Levy County Sheriff Station, they show up stalking us. Is that the video on your channel? Talking about that? The video, it's all there. It's yeah, yeah, all yeah. everything we're talking about is there on yeah. the channel. I saw, <laughs> I mean, like I said, I've been I've been tuning into some of that. I saw the 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 sheriff station. I thought, man, this is crazy to look at just watching this stuff play out. Very, very. They're on petition, by the way. At the at the end, when we started reading all the the excerpts of the transcript, it was probably the best advertisement for the Jeremy and Hales channel because now you can all go and find these videos and find the the, the portions because it it quotes the beginning time timestamp to the ending timestamp, and you can see the stuff in real life and go, "This is what they're upset over." Like, are you, are you and by the way, me? I was hoping you would actually. Pull up those clips from the channel and show them. <laughs> it would never you're a end. Lawyer. If I you're did that, it would never end. And if you saw them, you would the video. go, oh, crap. Her lawyer would never let this be played in court. <laughs> By the way, Dawn just sent a super chat. Dawn's son has the exact same metabolic disorder. And he is a full functioning adult. We got to Has a him. full life. We met him in Hawaii last year, right? Last year. We met him Whitten in Hagen? Hawaii last year. Yeah. And so Dawn's son has the exact same thing. And it's an amazing. And she never treated him like he was disabled the way. She never put up a goaf on me. She never said, oh, man, you have a life threatening metabolic disorder. She treated him like he was a, a normal, normal kid. kid. Now, now if she didn't have now, if she didn't have this child with this life threatening metabolic disorder living in squalor, we wouldn't have cared. We wouldn't have cared how her and John lived on their property. That's fine. There's a lot of people in Otter Creek that live in squalor, but we don't care because they don't have a child, an innocent child sure. that can't speak up for themselves or defend themselves that anything can kill them because of this life-threatening disorder that she has. And the other people in Otter Creek aren't threatening to shoot anybody, not pointing guns at they people, also and don't have us. meth heads shooting randomly into the neighborhood. 
there was a um, I, I heard about a court appointed assault someone that was a court appointed um i guess victim advocate to you guys that uh you want to tell that one Jeez. Um, okay, no, I'll tell that you, one. Yeah. All right, so we get into Florida. We have our civil protection orders. The state attorney says we will not enforce these. And as a matter of fact, writes an email to the sheriff station and says, do not enforce these civil protection orders. Ohio has no jurisdiction. Now, Florida statutes state they must enforce them. Federal law states they must enforce them. So they are not enforcing them. And because we have the YouTube channel, we're... Obviously, we're exposing yet again what's going on and what should be happening, but isn't happening. So then they backpedal and say, we will enforce them now. And they're going back to all of these different incidences, such as the sheriff station. And the list goes on and on and on. So now Florida is actually investigating and looking at charges against John and Lynette. And because of that, I'm appointed a victim's advocate in court. That victim's advocates, that victim's advocate during the third hearing, during a bomb threat, goes up to my lawyer and says, how could you represent that blanking, that effing a-hole, okay? And that victim's advocate has been attempting to help Lynette in all of her lies. And we think she's involved in connecting Silverman and with Lynette because Silverman's such a good buddy of the Thomases. Now we got the good old boy network. So she sees me two Sundays ago coming out of Walmart. Okay. I, I love toys. I love collecting. I'm, I'm a 10 year old in a, in a, in a grown up's body. And so I'm going and I'm looking at, at uh, clearance toys. I'm coming out and this woman is staring at me and staring at me hard. And now all of a sudden I'm like, Amanda Martin. I was like, Oh, Amanda Martin out in the wild. And, and I've said, I look forward to talking to your supervisor next week. And then we were supposed to meet friends at one of our favorite restaurants in Chiefland, which is Barbecue's. Which Barbecue is five Bay. minutes down the road. At five o'clock. At five o'clock that Sunday. F uh, 30 minutes later, her son comes in and assaults me. And he didn't even drive there. He came there on foot. Which means she dropped him off. We've done their address to there. It's a 50-minute walk, their address to there. She was with him somewhere, somehow. They knew she was a part of it. Drops him off. He walks away. How crazy is that? <laughs> you said bomb threat, by the way? Yes, there was a bomb threat in hearing three. So we had yep. to evacuate the courthouse for three hours. I still wonder who did that, because that is... We had a similar experience during the... Ale um, what's his name? Alec Murda murder trial down in South Carolina. I think it's a Southern thing. When they don't like what's happening, uh, they just call in a bomb threat. It's really weird. It, it, was, it was wild. Like... We don't believe any of this, and it's happened to us. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's so unbelievable. It's so un A and E has offered to pay for all of my videos, and I and I have negotiated pricing, and we came to a price because they want to put this all on their neighbor wars, and uh, but I would not give them editing uh, freedoms or rights. And so we couldn't we couldn't get the stipulations. We we get producers that contact us all the time from different networks and different shows and different things. And our, our staple answer is no, we're not interested because what we do is what we want to do on a daily basis. And frankly, if I may be very frank with everybody in the chat, everybody thinks going on TV is lucrative. Going on TV is not lucrative. If you get into year three, year four, year five of a season and the whole show is based around you, it can get lucrative. But we make more money than we ever would going on TV. If you go on TV, season one, season two, season three, you're making minimum wage if you're making minimum wage. So we would never stop what we're doing and the people we want to help with the money that we make, the go and make minimum wage on TV. If you want to be on TV, you go on TV because you want to be famous. We don't want to be famous. We want to help people. Yeah, give it up that editorial control too. Respect. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, for real. You talk about you talk about uh, altruism, you know, helping out people. What kind of stuff do you guys do, by the way? I'm curious about that. Yeah, tell us. We so there's a couple things, and I was telling Larry on during his interview. We always tell people we're not unemployed, we're fun employed. And mm -hmm. so we're we're self-employed treasure hunters. And what we do is we buy storage units 
that are abandoned that go up for auction. And then we sell the items and the contents inside the units on multiple platforms. And so having a YouTube channel drives traffic to our eBay store to our uh, merch that we sell on What the Hails. Which, by the way, LineNet our... supporters are posting that they're going to destroy our eBay, our eBay site. Mm -hmm. By the just, just throwing that out there. But I still can't get an injunction on LineNet, but go ahead. It drives traffic to the auctions and the sales that we have on our YouTube channel because we typically try and have uh, either an auction or a buy it now sa uh, sale on Sundays when we do our live every Sunday. So that didn't answer your question. So I'll answer it. So we'll buy storage units. People lose their life and we'll give their entire life back to them. We'll buy it. We'll give it all back. If we'll they're not in jail them. and if they're not dead. A lot of times they are in jail. So you can give it to the estate if they're deceased. Same with. So we'll give it all back. We've done things such as for kids camp up in on Kelly's Island Camp Patmos where I grew up. My very first job, I was a speedboat driver at a Christian camp, Camp Camp Patmos, Kelly's Island. We gifted them $150,000 to buy two brand new speedboats for all the kids. We've helped them with scholarships for the kids, any projects that they need help with. Uh, we have helped orphans with the fans. By the way, this happens with the fan base, okay? Mm -hmm. So I, I want to be very clear. This isn't Jeremy and George. The, uh, Jeremy and George aren't what the hails. The fans are what the hails. Jeremy sure. and George are put just put videos out. and and um, And so the the family unity and doing good and paying it forward so we were able to help kids go to camp scholarship kids to go to camp we were able to help get school supplies for orphans in egypt as we went to egypt and um many kids will not go to school because they they don't have any supplies and 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 they feel like inferior to go to school so they don't and in egypt there is no middle class you're either upper or lower and most of them are orphans. And so we've been a part of that. Well, this that that project, we helped my aunt yes. because both my aunt and my mother grew up um, as orphans in, 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 Egypt. Egypt, in Egypt, which we, we did another thing. I don't even know if we we didn't really post anything on this. Uh, we're buying cows in Egypt to feed to feed the homeless. And we're doing all that and helping her aunt to do that. And I don't think we've ever posted that. Uh, we did Christmas in the Creek this past December. We we wanted every kid in Levy County to get gifts to meet Santa Claus. So we have this school building that we're in. This was Santa Claus workshop where we're sitting right now with Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. And those were all uh, Otter Creek residents. There was, there was probably, remember Otter Creek's just about 100 people. There were 25 to 30 residents in Otter Creek helping as thousands and thousands and thousands came. And we tried to give away a hundred thousand uh, dollars in toys and prizes and other things, and we just had a blast. And the news <laughs> came out; and it was raining. Um, doors opened at five p.m. We didn't close the doors till one a.m. the next morning because that's how many people showed up. And we've we've restored vision. We've given away yep. uh, to fan a package deal to a fan to restore vision. We've when helped we missions the, trips. We've helped when we've bought the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse um, were for clients that are mentally um, challenged. And so we did a dollar sale and gave all the proceeds to back to the clients so that they can spend it on their clients. Yeah, the clients with mental retardation will will give all the money back. We have we have a local um, food bank down the road here in Cedar Key who our fans did an incredible job getting socks and gloves, and mm -hmm. we were able to raise food for them. And we actually and money for them because um, if you remember, Hurricane Idalia hit, hit right Cedar here. Key. Which, by the way, all the fans out there, uh, the Cedar Key Food Bank just messaged me today. They just got a donation of Beanie Babies, and I know you guys love Beanie Babies, so oh. we're going to pick those up tomorrow, and we'll auction them off on Sunday, and all those oh, proceeds will go. I have socks and gloves for them, too. So all those proceeds will go back to the Cedar Key Food Bank, and those are just some things off the top of our head. I mean, the the, the honestly, the, the chat, the, the family in the chat probably know more of what we've done than we can think of, because... Sure. You missed anything. We, we, you know, everything we do is it's, it's a, it's, it's this foggy mist anymore of like, okay, we're, well, we've done this. And we, it, it's, it's so crazy what our lives are um, involved in. Well, and here's another thing. Mayor Dan, Mayor Dan is in the chat. If he's, I'm, I'm going to share, I'm going to share this because we still are talking. So our, our local village, where Mayor Dan is in the chat, he came to us and he said, hey, you know, we'd really like a drug a drug uh, unit and we need a drug dog. And he said, would you guys consider funding that? And I said, yes, under one condition, you have to name the dog 
George. <laughs> and so they, our village, our police force now has a drug unit and they have a beautiful dog named Georgie. But the none of the fans know about that. So yes, this is an exclusive right here on the Umbrella Guy. And we're still talking about what we're going to do for our police force at, at up north. Um, and so... So that that's that's that may be covered on the channel. That may not. We'll see. But there's just there's, there's things that we love and impact our life that we want to give towards. Has has any of this stuff uh, impacted you all doing altruism? Like like not just you know going out and doing good deeds, but made you more cautious about doing things. Uh, Tug, where have you been the last week <laughs> that we've been doing the whole Lynette thing, man? Yeah, well, <laughs> fuck, I mean. man. We so we didn't have it was always rewarding to us. Cautious is like a lightly. Yeah, but you man. know when you when you look at it, I mean, still, you know, this is this so is a main part of your life. So. Our stalking, our stalking. True, fair. Members, That's a good question. It, it was always very rewarding, and we were actually going to transition the channel into doing more mission work and giving pe um, people th those are in need. Um, Really, that's where we want the channel to, to ultimately head. But uh, one, I, I, I can remember one dangerous situation, uh, another thing that we did, which to answer your question, yes. I can't even begin to tell you how many people beg me on a daily basis for money or beg her on a daily oh, basis for money. Oh, we gave away money. the microwaves. Okay, I'm about to get to that. That's the funny one. <laughs> Thanks, all right, so, so first of all, uh, the aspect that you guys even emailed us, we get well over a thousand pieces of communication a day, a day. It would take a full-time employee forever even to keep up with everything for, so that we even see, by the way, Tug, you're the only person that's ever messaged us on, on was it Twitter or was it? On Twitter, yeah. Okay, yeah. you're the only person that's ever messaged us on Twitter. So yours was easy to find. But um, <laughs> that's this is how, how many messages we get a day. And it's it's almost humanly impossible to keep up with everything. And and, and, and frankly, she can't read it anymore because it, it impacts her too negatively. Because you not only get the love, but you get the hate. OK. And yeah. so I am the so one you think that you typically get threats, Larry, we get death we threats every single day. But the most dangerous one was we bought a Welcome storage to the club, unit. Larry. Yeah, I got it. So we bought a storage unit. It was in Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, the guy that had that storage unit got busted by the DEA, had over one point three million dollars hidden in microwaves and cocaine. OK. And so I'm like, we're buying it. I, I don't care. We're buying it. There's over 130 microwaves in there. And, I, and it was this guy was part of the drug cartel. And I went, this bad thing happened in Cleveland, Ohio. We have 130 brand new microwaves. We're going to give every single one away. And so we go downtown Cleveland. And I, I'm telling my team, there's George and there's Patience and Christian, who you guys don't know. And I'm like, guys, this may be the biggest flop in the world. This may, we may have to be here all week to give these away. Literally, how 15 minutes, so 20 minutes, something I, like that. I guess that we would give the, the microwaves away within like six hours, and Christian guessed four hours. Guess you guys want to take a guess of how quickly we got rid of the microwaves? 25 minutes, 15. Yeah, minutes. so 15. they're up there with minutes. signs <laughs> free microwaves. I have a busted foot, I'm in this peg leg because we went to Walmart and bought stuff and pallet racking busted my foot. foot. That's all on the channel as well. But the dangerous part was traffic was stopped every which way. And there were almost so many accidents to stop to get free microwaves. We were right on a corner. You were right on a corner. It's like. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> like nobody died. Nobody died. And then there were like seven. Um, there were seven like air conditioners, really high expensive ones, too, that they were hiding money and we drugs. In. And away. I wasn't giving those away. People just walking it off with it. I'm like, all right, take the tires, too. I mean, whatever. <laughs> I was just take it all. Take it all. Take it all. But there was so many potential accidents. And it was one of the most fun things that it we was. did. It and really, we, it was a blast. We did it at a buddy's place who's an auctioneer at his warehouse, which was right on the corner. So that, that was fun. And we got so many people coming and just crying like, oh my God, my microwave just blew up a week ago. And, and they were probably we lying, were but it was still fun. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. At that point. Yeah. Who cares? We were giving it away. We wanted to do it for us to feel good about helping others. I don't care if they were lying about their microwave just broke or not. 
take a microwave. Sure. Something yeah. bad happened in Cleveland. The drug cartel had all of this money, all this cocaine. We took what they were using to move it. And then Wait, we what did you do with the cocaine? Did you sell it? Like make a profit? I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Larry, 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 how do you think we... How do you think we are you able to afford a school? That's I figured right. that's how you were so high energy. Hookers and cocaine, man. <laughs> he doesn't even drink. Caffeine. I don't even drink caffeine. It's all natural. <laughs> good for you. Way God I mean, yeah, for real good for you. I wish I was there. I wish I could do that. Uh, could you tell us about what happened today? You know, uh, when we were talking about the newest stuff that happened. Yes. I don't want to get into too much of it, though, because sure. the reality is, is I have a video coming out about it tomorrow okay. and then we'll play it. So uh, basically, in a nutshell, what, what I will share with you what happened today is we filed a third motion to disqualify Craig de Thomasis. And um, and there were other motions that he had to actually rule on today, but he couldn't rule on anything because he didn't rule on the third motion to disqualify. So an email was sent first thing in the morning saying, listen, we don't even know what's going on. You haven't even, you haven't even, mo you haven't even ruled on the motion to disqualify. So he immediately, this, he immediately denies it. And then immediately we well, file he had it another in the motion. Can, right? Sorry to interrupt Jeremy, because I, I'm also privy to this information. I, as I understand, and please correct me if I'm wrong, the minute that email goes out, like an hour, a few minutes, whatever later, it's already a fully drafted order, two pages, I believe. Oh, wow. And he's just like, oh, that's right. I knew I forgot to do something, didn't I? Here you go. It's like, come on, man. You had it drafted. It was ready. It could have been sent out sooner. Yeah. He waited until the day of the hearing to when send he your lawyers pushed. there. When he was pushed. Yes. He was pushed. So then we filed to stay. And, um, and in a nutshell, what I'll share with you is, um, he denied the stay and it was, it was more, it was communicated as now it is a continuance as the higher court looks into the aspect of disqualifying him or not. So an indefinite continuance, as I understand, like there yeah, is no day on the I, still have, I still have an injunction on me. I still have a temporary injunction on me, which by the definition, temporary isn't indefinite, right? Temporary right. has a date, but guess what? I have an indefinite temporary injunction on Typically me. Typically in Florida, it's 15 days and it just keeps getting pushed and pushed and pushed since December, since December 4th. Oh, we didn't share this with Tug yet. December 4th is when, Lynette lied and said that his first attorney tried to bribe her, and that's how and the that's judge why issued put it, the temp injunction. Yeah, that's why he put a temp on me, not on anything I did, based on what others did. And, and he would, we would never give her a dime. That's what started all of this, is because we wouldn't because we give, her give her money. money. And so she doesn't have any proof that the attorney um, tried to bribe her. She's still yet to provide any evidence. And I did get yelled at today in court. So just you did? heads up. You're going to see. I got yelled at, and <laughs> I, I've got to say, Hell this yeah, is teaser. The, this yeah. is the Look, hottest. Hashtag buckle up. <laughs> this is the hottest I've been <laughs> under the college. This is the most upset I've been, uh, probably in a hearing because the way he was attacking, the way he was attacking my legal team, and the way he was attacking me. And the reality is, I'm the one that was attacked by that court's victim's advocate's son. And that's when I make an expression and he starts yelling at me. And so, yeah, it's coming. I just want to um, ask a question. What time are you premiering that video? Because I wanted to do a video myself on the uh, his response to denying the disqualification and your lawyer's motion to stay proceedings. And before I do that, I want you to, because this is your case. This is your baby. This is your channel. What, what time is 5.30? Every day at 5.30. Every day at 5.30. Okay, so I'll do it after because I want you to have first dibs. Are you still at Eastern Standard? Yes. Okay, so 5.30. Tug isn't, but Larry is. No, 5.30 East. I'm keeping yeah, it with Tug. Tug is I, I want to catch it. Yeah, I'm in Central. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord. People are asking in the chat. It won't be the actual court video yet unless well it just won't be the court video yet although i'll be surprised have, if you get it that quickly yeah, i mean yeah, even here depending on the county especially levy county very very small i requested a video on one of my hearings i posted on my channel yesterday it took them two weeks and two days to send it so 
I don't know if Levy County is similar. I mean, Jefferson County, the big one here, sometimes they'll take two, three days. Yeah, but not overnight. Hell no. That's too fast. But it was it was not a fun day in court. And um, I got myself yelled at. And I, I've i got some things I'd like to say to Judge DeThomasis, but I've yet to have that opportunity to voice Wait until anything. the case is over. Wait, yes. listen to your lawyers. Well, don't you worry. <laughs> don't you worry. I, I pay good attention to those. I pay a lot of money to represent me. Oh, we there's don't. A, there's a lot of attention on this right now. I'm sure. I mean, there's been attention. But if you look at Google Trends, you know, I, I was I was curious how much attention that this has brought up in the last. Oh, are we week. on the trending page now? Yeah, you're uh, the hell, the hills came up. Buckle up, you know, buckle up has been used as a slogan everywhere. Buckle up exploded on the trending page. And I figure I'll drop a video on that because, you oh. know, the yeah, when you're um, when you're looking at I, I, I look at wins, not just in the courtroom. Yes, you're looking for a win in the courtroom resolution. But the way you get to that, you have wins through social media. You have wins through exposure and. Yeah, I mean, uh, like Megan Fox's article, for example, it trended number one because of so much attention and so many people hitting that article. It That's went out. Awesome. Yeah, it went out bigger. That's than, a fact. Yeah, I, it I is. saw it. I was bigger on Tug's channel. I think Tug, you shared that, didn't you? That yeah. it was trending number one. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Amazing. I was. I was. I was curious about you know for the article for the day it outdid, and there was some major news, and still there were so many people that hit that that it pushed it above any other story that was out there that's amazing that really is amazing well that's what you need you need more eyes on this and you need it on yeah. every social media platform and you know? people were asking before i forget uh people were asking because my plan was to come down to florida with my girlfriend now the cat's out of the bag so i can say it with chandler remington <laughs> yeah. um we were going to come down to florida uh you know tomorrow and then like hang out and go to court on friday but now there is no court on friday that is a fact assuming that the writ will be filed sometime tomorrow before 6 a.m on friday as long as that is done and it sounds like it's going to get done there will be no court friday the temporary mandatory indefinite forever temporary infinite temporary injunction remains and here, here's the funny part, and I'd talk about this in tomorrow's video. So here's another teaser. Uh, Silverman, Joshua, her attorney, states to the judge and says, well, Jeremy's already all over YouTube saying he doesn't care about the, the injunction anyway. Now, let me clarify. I have stated on YouTube, I don't care about the no contact or communication. I don't want to communicate with her. I've sent cease and desist. I've got civil protection orders. I don't want her anywhere near me within 500 feet. I don't care about those things. I care about my freedom of speech being taken away. I care about my right to bear arms. I care about my freedom to be on all of my property and to access it on a public road. I care about those things by far. I care about those things. I don't want her to communicate with me. I'm never going to communicate with her. I don't want her near me and I don't want to be near her. Those yep. things I don't care in the, the injunction. It's the other infringements upon my rights that I care about. First you're Amendment, in, Second Amendment, Fifth and Sixth. Yep. Go ahead. Tuck, and you're sorry. in the South here. No, I mean, you know, I'm I'm, I'm in the deep. Actually, Larry, you're in, you're in Kentucky. So in the deep South, I mean, that, you know, this is a. My ding, ding, right. ding, 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 ding. Yeah, exactly. Dueling banjos, firearms, free speech, baby. <laughs> cannons. <AK> and <laughs> cannons. Of course, never forget cannons. Ha have you ever been to, is it uh, Fort... Uh, I forgot. It's the it's the one on the Panhandle in Florida. There's a fort there from the Civil War era. Help me out here, chat. Um, they you actually get to see these. Sorry, I just know Fort Walton. Fort? No, it, it, it's it's abandoned. It's an abandoned fort. Um, I forget what it's called, but you can see like real life cannons. Like I've seen them in person, and they're really freaking cool. Uh, is it Fort Sumter? It might be Fort Sumter. Chat is saying that sounds familiar, but I could be wrong. Uh, it's the one like in, um, it's the one on the panhandle, Pensacola. What's the one that's like right near Pensacola? There's a fort there. Deanna would know. Deanna, what's the fort next to Pensacola? Fort Myers? God, I forget. No, fort Myers is south. No, it's fort not Fort Pickens. Myers. Fort it might Pickens. be Fort Pickens. Fort Pickens sounds, sounds right. 
Fort Pig. Anyway, there's a there's a fort somewhere on the panhandle of Florida. You actually get to see, learn the history of like when ships would, you know, if ships would be attacking, they were prepared. And it's really cool. You get to see the fortifications. You get to see, it is Fort Pickens. Yeah. So anyway, if you get the opportunity to see like real cannons, not, no offense, Jeremy. Come over here and tell them. No She's offense, Jeremy. Tell you real quick. The, not, not the bullshit cannon that you fucking have, but yeah, if you want to see one. real cannons, go to Fort Pickens. That, that stuff is incredible. Hey, I think Hello. you're talking about Fort Pickens. Um, that's in Panama City. I mean, not Panama City, in Pensacola. Yeah. There's the Castile in St. Augustine, which isn't in the Panhandle. Oh, that's the other side. side. That's completely that's on the other side. side. But that's got the cool cannons, and that's where they had the forts and all of that stuff. I think that's probably, you're getting those two mixed up. No, oh, no. I've, I've been to, stay, well, stay stay right there for a second. Maybe I've, I've been to St. Augustine. I have not seen the cannons in St. Augustine. It's I have been, been to Pensacola, and I went to a fort there, and I saw the cannons. That's what I can, but anyway, I mean, it's I'm just saying. Pickens. So that's for Dickens. Okay. This is Diana. She's my adoptive mom. Now <laughs> Hi, you, mom. Are reading, you are reading, you are reading Lynette's petition. And I think she states in there that I hate old women. And Diana's not an old woman. You clearly hate them so much. You She's enslave them. They're, yeah. They work for you for free and some beg for food periodically. We can tell. I mean, I can see that. She's, she seems so miserable. Show us your ball and chain, madam. here. Instead, I'm so of, old and instead of child labor, old lady labor. Yeah, it's old lady labor. So <laughs> I just want I want to get yeah. to the point where I can yell for someone to give me information and my four-year-old doesn't answer. You know, that'll be awesome. <laughs> so Deanna is a blessing to us and she takes care of everything in Florida while we're not in Florida. And so she's a tremendous blessing. So when Lynette says that I have some kind of problem with females, um, well, older females, or, She's just silly. And, and why? And and Diana is a little bit older than me, but she's not by any means an old lady. But um, we appreciate that could be his way older sister or his mom's youngest sister yes. being his aunt. I guess. So so we appreciate <laughs> we appreciate those that God has blessed us with to help us with all the things that you know we have going on. And, and so this is this is our Florida. That's the boss in Florida. That nice is the bar you. in Florida. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, one other question uh, the chat told me to ask about was a reporter. Reporter that was um, uh, that, that was uh, pointed yeah. at you by Lynette. <laughs> you know what? I, I I don't even I don't even want to give her any screen. Okay. She's a joke, and we call her the joke a list. Mm-hmm. She's not a journalist. She's a joke a list. And um, well, Lynette hired her to cover the story with no money. Yeah, we, don't, we, we don't have to give them any. I just, you know, if you, you know, if you want to be so like non A lot of the hate mail that she's getting could be from this, this joke list from her uh, followers. But to be clear, the remember you heard that Lynette was going off on Jamie, who was so high that she's shooting randomly. Yeah. All right. Jamie lost all of her kids this jokalist tried to help her they all meet on these on these anti you know cps websites and and facebook groups and stuff like that so this jokalist from new jersey tried to help her get her kids back which she's lost multiple times due to drugs and other things and so then then she wants her moment of fame okay so and i please 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 understand when i say this i don't mean this derogatory but Larry, I'm sure your sub count has gone up this week, right? And your views have gone up this week, right? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. a hot topic. And then, all about that. Heck yeah. Someone okay, is trying so, to erode our constitutional rights. It's going to fucking trend. Yeah. All right. And then the tug, your your subs are going to go up and your yeah. views are going to go up. You sure. realize this is what this woman wants. She doesn't want to help anybody. She sure. wants fame. And I have a problem when somebody wants to, wants to do something – off of my name just for fame. Now, if we're going to get this story out and we're going to say, hey, man, this is constitutional issue here. This is a huge constitutional issue. This is the main thing. But when people are just trying to get their name tagged to it for fame, this is our life and it's horrific right right now. And so that's what this joke list is doing is just trying to make a name for herself to get some type of fame off of everything that's happened to us here. And so I don't want to give her any fame whatsoever. No doubt she's watching right now. She is a joke. She always was a joke. She'll continue to be a joke. She's not the real deal like a Megan Fox. And we appreciate Megan Fox. And so 
I she's don't like, the, yeah, she's a real one. And I don't like the aspect that, that people want to jump on and try and use our name for their own 15 minutes of fame because it's not about fame. This is a serious <laughs> attack on fundamental legal rights mm -hmm. that are foundational to our citizens and country. I mean, come on. Like this yeah. is. This is serious. It also serious. deals it. It deals with the weaponization of government institutions. I, I've had CPS at my house that f called by people that don't like me. That's not a fun thing to deal because with. Because he was yeah. reporting on the Johnny Depp trial yeah. and her supporters, after he was calling out all her shit that we all were in agreement on, he became a target. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, we've seen that? that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, and that that is a an issue. It, there's so many issues in this. And and this case is a travesty right now. And it needs it, the, the judge needs to be called out on this. You, you you deserve justice. We're also the false allegation thing. We've covered I've covered plenty of false allegations in this. And I mean, you start with false allegations and some of these false allegations, they are life ruining allegations. And the judge looks at me in one of the hearings, maybe two of them, and says, maybe Mr. Hales needs to hear this. I must take it all as truth. It's the law. With no evidence. Didn't take any of my fear of, an, of, a, of a fair trial as truth. Keeps telling me I'm unreasonable. It's, it's, it's mind blowing. And by the way, I want to clarify, as, as CPS has been weaponized on TUG, as we've contacted CPS, and particularly it's me, it's not her, it's me. I've contacted CPS one time out of concern for the child. I also contacted CPS one time out of concern for Lynette. As much as I don't like Lynette, this woman continually posted how much she was being abused by John Crook. I contacted them for elderly abuse to check up on her, okay? I don't like her, but I don't like abuse either. And so right. this isn't an aspect of weaponizing. This is literally drug addicts, a revolving door for drug addicts, firearms being going off randomly. This is a very unsafe environment for a child and a very unsafe environment for all the local residents and neighbors mm -hmm. and for these animals. This isn't weaponization. This is there's something wrong and something needs to be done. No, yes. when I say that, I'm talking about their side talking, you know, an unborn yeah. child having CPS potentially pointed at the parents oh, when, you know, absolutely. no, on your side, when you're talking about, a, you know, them saying, hey, my kid could be ran over because they're running free in the road. That's a problem when you have refrigerators that are empty. Again, I'm, I'm a parent, four year old, same age. I cannot imagine my kid living in filth, living in danger. That's that's terrible. have you ever been swatted, Tug? Because Lynette says she got swatted. Uh, yeah, well, here it's a little different. Uh, we we don't have a SWAT team show up, but yeah, I've had uh, I've had the. <laughs> you want to talk well. about? I figured so, I figured she was saying John terrific. Crook hit her again, but you go ahead. From <laughs> swatted. So to date, I have been able to count at least fourteen social media accounts that this woman has, and if you follow some of her main pages, the insane, unstable posts that she posts makes you question makes you question her sanity. And from my understanding is that someone saw something that she posted that was unstable and they called Levy County Sheriff to do a wellness check on her because, because of what she was posting and she considered that swatting. So one deputy comes out to do a wellness check and she posts and says that she's been swatted, which by the way, we actually shared a post or it's when I say we, it's me. I shared a post from a text message that she sent her biological daughter saying that she was going to kill herself. And I, I realize now that as I posted that somebody must have called the Levy County Sheriff deputies for a wellness check because all of a sudden Levy County deputies were at her house. One. Nobody was there with any kind of firearm power. There weren't multiples. There were. She, well, she One. was claiming there were. They would have showed up with AK forty seven. And she's which... stating she's stating she got swatted. again. Pod calling the kettle like, black. I swear, it's like everything she does. She's like, "Well, you did it." She claimed AK forty sevens again with the police. <laughs> that if that if the entire SWAT team would have showed up, then they would have showed up with AK forty sevens, and <laughs> she could have died, and her child could have died. 
Didn't mention John in her post. Doesn't have any problem with Jamie coming out, being a meth head and shooting random firearms. That could have killed anybody in this town. Do you think there are any aspects of this that we're not catch i mean i realize when i say this there's a lot going on there are a lot of nuanced pieces do you think there's anything in here again you know when i'm looking at it i listen to your interview i've listened i've, I've been catching up on inner uh, catching up on your uh, videos that are part of this but are, are, is there any allegation that uh you know people <laughs> they need context to I, again like specific ones so allegation can you can you give an example well, Larry, hey, you, you went yeah. through like, you know, a million uh, allegations. Do you think there's any that maybe need some context? How about all of them? <laughs> well, we just, we just How about I start with every <laughs> single fucking one? I'm not joking because she starts like, look, man, listen, I'm 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 an attorney. When I have a good case, I take the most important fact, the biggest fact, like AK-47 is pointed at my house. That That is a death threat physically like i would be petrified for my life you know that would be the first front and center on the petition i would write i'm afraid for my life because guns are being pointed at my home on a daily basis something like that you know which is in our petition the starts our petition in ohio well but but he doesn't it, it, she doesn't she just alludes to like i'm afraid for and then the first thing she goes to is he's talking to my family and he's trying to remove my daughter from the home by calling all these agencies, which again, makes me scratch my head going, well, why would he be calling these agencies unless he's suspecting that there's some something awry and he's trying to make sure that you are not in violation of all these laws and killing tortoises for profit and endangering your child for profit, et cetera, et cetera. And so the deeper I got, it's finally like, there, you know, there was like all these, an email she sent from herself to herself that she's going to print. She admits in the beginning, this is not, I never sent this to anybody. I sent it from myself to myself. Here you, here you go, judge, a printed copy. And you're reading and you're just like, okay. And they're like, number seven is like, you know, and the AK-47s, I'm in danger. And I'm like, why did you bury that in the middle somewhere? That is like the biggest fact. And then you get to number 10 and that's the, Oh, he's also, you know, he's basically she accusing him, accusing him of CP and ha it being in possession and disseminating CP. Like, oh my God! First of all, heinous accusation. Number two, if there was proof of that, Jeremy would already be federally indicted. There would be no wait. That would because if he, the minute he shows that publicly, it's over. His life would be over. Pause right there because Tug asked for contacts in that. Okay, Lynette. Post a picture of her of her daughter in a diaper. The diaper is filled with fecal matter, and there's fecal matter going down her leg. Okay, mm -hmm. so keep that in mind. Number one, Lynette post a picture. All right, it's public. She's made it public on Facebook. Number two, these same exact diapers have been found on Dead Dog Road, which I know Larry's going. Oh my goodness, what is Dead Dog Road? Listen, we are in the middle of nowhere in Florida. Whatever you want to say about these people, they go down a road and they kill their dogs and they ditch them on this road, which is now called Dead Dog Road, mm -hmm. where they throw garbage. They dump the laziness of not going 10 minutes to the free dump. OK, guess where all these diapers that match her child's diaper are found? Because CPS. CPS is coming to do a wellness check. They took all their garbage and they dumped it on Dead Dog Road. We show a picture of the diaper that is found on Dead Dog Road and all the garbage they dump. We show the picture and we inflate it in regards to the full diaper on her daughter that she posted. And we circle the fecal matter that she's not even taking care of her daughter's issues with a full diaper. Well, she's claiming she didn't do it, but she threw John under the bus and said it was John that's throwing the trash. So let's be extremely clear. Number one, we are not involved in any kind of CP and nor have right. we ever been investigated, arrested or anything. No questions asked, nothing. All we've done is taken a picture that she posted of her daughter in the diaper. Remember, she posted it. So she's saying that I'm guilty of it. I got it from her and we have screenshots of where she actually posted it. So if I'm guilty of something, she's guilty of it too as well, right? 
But all we did is we showed side by side. We went, boom, here it is. She's dumping her trash and her dirty diapers on this road because children's services are coming to inspect. And she's not even taking care of the daughter. She's neglecting the daughter. There's poop going down her leg. So in context, now you understand. Right. So there's there's one that I can clarify. And I'm sorry for interrupting you, Larry, but that that no, no, no. That answer, no we're no, all here to like learn, man. And, and that was absolutely valuable information. I also noticed them talking about them. One of number 14 was like mineral rights and tree rights on the property. So you could run her off of it. So the, the reality is this: she does not own the mineral rights of her property. Now, I've been in real estate since the age of 21, 21, well, actually 20 is when I first bought my first house and I'm 46 now. And so bulk of my income actually comes from real estate property. Uh, and so that's what, that's how I've been able to, you know, kind of focus on YouTube and do whatever I want every day because I have that income coming in. And, and that's why we can also take the YouTube, whatever we make there, and we can help and bless others because we don't need it. Okay. And frankly, we don't want it. We want to help others. I mean, that's a drive and a desire. So uh, with everything those two have done to us, yeah, I want the mineral rights. And I'm a buyer. I'm an entrepreneur. And I have every right to buy mineral rights, regardless of who owns the physical property from the ground up. I can buy everything from below. And so I have stated I'm buying the mineral rights. I haven't yet, but I absolutely want to. It's an option. Okay. I was and mad. that has nothing to do with trees. She's so foolish and stupid. She doesn't even know what mineral rights are. So just so everybody is clear, mineral rights is everything below the ground. It has nothing to do with trees above the ground. So if I find oil, gold, anything, diamonds, not that we're going to find that here in Florida, but there's always that chance. Uh, anything below the ground, I would own. And you never want to buy a piece of property without owning the mineral rights. I would never, ever, ever buy a piece of property without owning the mineral rights. She did because she stalked us here. All she cared about was getting money. And so, yeah, she doesn't own the mineral rights. Somebody else does. And hopefully one day I will. It's okay. I mean, she's like, oh, tree roots, <laughs> tree roots. You're going to find tree roots, <laughs> minerals. Oh, Lord. Are there? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, Larry, you got anything else you want to ask today? No. Um, my my thumbnail maker is working on that video that I once once what the hell is like I said I if if there's one thing that I'm not is is a content thief and I, I this is your baby this is your situation and I as much as I'd love to do a video tomorrow like early morning or whatever because I was setting time aside from that I want to give you guys first dibs because like I said this is your case this is your situation I will be second next in line but I will I will be sharing things that you may or may not be sharing so I'll still have like whatever you want to call it first dibs on the situation but guys tomorrow 5 30 it's going to premiere on what the hell is this channel go watch Jeremy is going to share what happened in court today at 1 30 uh, then after that, I am going to go live and I'm going to talk about at least, if not both, we may do a back to back live of order the, the, the judge's order denying the third motion to disqualify. And then the, uh, uh, the second one, which is the motion to stay proceedings. And maybe, maybe if we're lucky, we may be able to also get our hands on the writ itself. And hell, I might make three, I'll make them into three separate videos to make it's cause it's easier for like. YouTube and, and uh, you know, viewers to digest. So we may just be like bouncing from one life to the next. And that's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow and Friday, since there's no court on Friday, almost with 99.9% .9 certainty at this point, unless something goes terribly, terribly wrong. So stay tuned. I think this, and this story is only beginning. I'm telling you, we've, um, there's a few things that I can't even discuss uh, that some, uh, some of my sources don't know that is in the works. And I don't know if we're going to be successful, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to get, I, I won't say anything else. I, I, I'm afraid the next words out of my mouth will, will, will give me away. So I'm just going to leave it there. That's the teaser. And uh, it's all, it's all for a good cause. It's to help the, the Haleses and it's to most importantly, no offense, you guys, but like you already recognized it's, it's less about you now. And it's more about a rogue judge who's right. got robitis, black robitis, trying right. to uproot 250 plus years, 300 years of American jurisprudence of a First Amendment litigation. And that's not okay. You cannot hold third parties, excuse me, 
first party's liable for third party speech. That's it. And it's not acceptable. And, and the Thomases will learn what the wrath of the United States of America is all about. It's the people. We the people. Yep. Hey, they, they're asking about a couple more things. I'll, I'll touch base on it. Sure. So I, I want to clarify that birds of a feather always flock together. OK. And we love to surround ourselves with good people. So we <laughs> we love attorney Mark Feather. We love Randy Shockett, Doreen Inkles. Larry, you've been phenomenal. Megan was phenomenal. Tug, you've been phenomenal. We, we are thrilled to be surrounded by good people. And the opposite of that is birds of a feather flock together, bad people. And so in Lynette's camp, in Lynette's support group, there has been an individual, Cole Allen, which Allen is his middle name, posting my daughter's physical addresses, all of my addresses, and, and it goes on and on. And this this man, he's a registered, he's a registered offender. sex offender. He's a pedophile. He tried to buy child CP. I'm sorry. Um, YouTube doesn't born, like these words. Yeah. And and uh, Tug said we could say anything. Yes, I, 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 don't care. I don't care. Oh, I'd rather. Okay, no, sorry. The truth, man. No, it's no, Tug's channel. Like, I forgot where I was for a second. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this individual, this individual has been posting uh, all of my daughter's information. Now I have a son as well. I have three children, and nobody has ever seen my children in the videos, and that's on purpose. Dad is in the dad's in the spotlight. They live life as normal. And can you see how important that is now? I mean, seriously, can you see how important that is now? And now you've got a, a child porn pedophile out there posting my daughter's information. Do you think Judge DeThomasis would give me an injunction on Lynette yet? No, nope, but he'll yell at me in court. And, and so we are thankful for the good people that come together and the good outnumber the bad. I mean, look at all these incredible good people in the chat. The, yeah. And there's trolls in the chat, too. We know that. 95% of the people are always going to love you. 5% are going to hate you. Who cares about the five that hate you? True. Give your love to the 95 who love you. they love you even more. And yep. so we appreciate all the lovers in the chat and the good people who are surrounding this good cause and fighting for those constitutional rights. And they're, they're asking... They want me to sing the Otter Creek song. Tug, are you okay with that? Or <laughs> I'm, totally I'm reading okay it. They're like, sing the Otter Creek song. Heck yeah, I'm okay with it. Which I don't one? Even... There's so many. Plus, there are a lot. There's but... a lot of versions of the Otter Creek song. So on that um, note, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to listen to it, but I have to dip out. Chandler has made dinner, and I don't want to get it, <laughs> get it to get cold. So I have Tell to Taylor go. we said hi. What's yeah. for dinner? I will. I don't know yet. I'm about to find out. I have not eaten in like five hours. So I've been live on my channel. Now it's tug. I'm not complaining. Trust me. I'm, I'm eating hangry? all this. Stuff. Oh, Sorry. Are you getting hangry? Oh, very, very. So thank you guys. Thank you, Tug, yeah. for the invite. And hey, thank you guys you, for doing it. I, I'm going to listen to the song. Bye, everybody. Amen. Well, we moved into a town with no one around, all to get away from the snow. We put in a two-inch line and everything was fine until they tried to steal all my dough. Mary was in town hall, couldn't do math at all, just kept calling the law. Sending emails to work, hoping he confirmed that no one would know all her flaws. I lied, Net and John, they're running their con, trying to get any money they can. Everything around them dies, and then she fake cries. They'll end up by a river in a van. There's signs all over town, but now they're taken down, and everybody knows who done it. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. You're living in a shed with no permit. Nope. Ross is texting Don, telling him it's on. Let's give the world a show. We always wanted fame, and now they know our names. In the meetings, always vote no. They're all making threats. The fans are taking bets. Who's going to be the first in jail? Mary, Russ, or Don, Lynette, or John. We just know it won't be what the hails. We just know it won't be what the hair. <laughs> I went to court today thinking the Thomases was going to try and put me in jail. <laughs> okay. like, uh, I love it though, man. I, I, I like the, I like the way that you all take all this craziness. I'm sure it's stressful. I'm sure, you know, Very. 
Yes. Uh, if y'all need anything too, you said you surround yourself with good people. If you need anything, you know, I'm sure you're, you're surrounded by lawyers. I come from a mental health background. I'm in mental health. <laughs> so if you ever need anything on that, I need to vent about something, man, you're good to go too. Yeah, anything you all want to add? I'm going to hit super chats in a minute. Um, you're welcome to stick. Anything you want to add before I, I, I want to be here for the super chats. You know, okay. Megan, Megan was going through the super chats last night and we were watching. And I'm like, oh my goodness, we should have just stayed on because we love these people. So I, I think uh, I'll let her. Yeah, because there might be add? super chats that don't make that sense to that, you. that don't yeah. make any sense. <laughs> but what what do you want to add? Final thoughts. Just want to thank everyone for tuning in. Thank everyone that has supported us. I, I'm, I'm trying to listen and read your comments in the live chat. And majority of the people in here are here to support us. And they they see they they've been with us from the beginning, way before even Otter Creek. Um, but they've been with us from the beginning and they know, they know the story, they know the truth and they know that we were the ones who were being stalked here and not vice versa. We've never stalked them. Oh, there's Jackie. Jackie just sent a super chat. I miss Jackie. I, uh, I, I asked for information on this. You know, I was like, Hey, uh, anybody want to let me know in the last one? I got 1700 emails. <laughs> so yeah, people are, <laughs> they definitely back you and they definitely, wow. they definitely are on your side on it. All right, I'm gonna hit the super chats here. I'm gonna hit the super chats and then I'll go back to the gifted memberships and stuff. That way, if there's anything in there, you know, question wise, we can hit that. Subi Sue, thanks for the 10 there. Trying to watch on my laptop, still watching DUI guy. Yeah, I actually like the fact that DUI guy hit all of that stuff too. And thanks, thanks to you all too that are noting. So much love to everyone. Liz, thanks for five. Hey, Jeremy and George, hope you're okay. Love you both. I plead the fifth. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Doug, right thanks there. for the two. Yeah, I see that. That's beautiful. <laughs> I didn't see it before. Now I see that. That's good. One of our fans sent it. Oh, it's beautiful. I, I love it, man. I get all kinds of crazy stuff. I can only imagine all the cool stuff y'all get. Oh, they send so many, so many funny things. Our, They've our, stopped sending turtles and send yeah, moles. No, no more turtles. Moles are in turtles. All are, the moles. They have such an incredible sense of humor, and that's how we deal with all this. We try and laugh, mm -hmm. and we we love the sense of humor they have as yes. well. Well, it's like you said, you know, you can focus on the 5% bad or you can focus on the 95%. You know, it's not just the chat. It's everything in life like that. Yeah. Yeah. Duncan, thanks for the two. Did the judge pay for Lynette's lawyer? <laughs> no, we can't affirm. No. So the Thomas is a male, a female gave her seven grand. Hmm. Man, by the way, I, I've said, I don't know if you want to answer on it. I, you all must have spent a lot of money just in court case. You know, it's it, the court is not cheap. You know, lawyers always win. And you guys have been in and you've had to file quite a bit. So I haven't got a bill for this month yet, but between Ohio and between Florida, we're over $80,000. I figure by the end of just the just the uh, injunction, we'll be at $150,000. That doesn't, that doesn't count the civil suit coming against her for defamation. That doesn't count the other suits coming against her. There's really no end in sight. And it's a, it's a big bill. It really is. It's a big bill. That's an insane amount of money, man. <laughs> Oh, they say that's what I mean about how it. How many people we could have helped with that eighty thousand yeah. dollars if these freaks wouldn't have done this to us? See, that's what I mean about the impacting your altruism. You know, there that's that's a huge impact. Again, eighty thousand freaking dollars. You know, Marcus, thanks for the fifty there. Hashtag buckle up. Yes, get that thing trending on Twitter. Needs that trending. You know, it only takes about fourteen hundred posts to trend something. So, trend it. <laughs> Shana, thanks for the two. What's sad is she did all the stalking. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Sandra, I think this sums up so many people, including me, when I when I listened to a lot of it for the first time. WTF, indeed. I mean, when you go, oh, Lord. And also, Sandra. We're living it. Yeah, I mean. And we can't believe it. We're living it, and we can't believe it. You know, when you were talking about, you know, crazy people, stalking, stuff like that, having your uh, having your right to have a firearm, that's a that's a big deal. I mean, period on 70. If I had 70 acres, well, I, I mean, I live in rural Tennessee. Again, I go out. I always have a firearm when I go out because no telling what you might run into. But then, you you know, you have crazy people directly in your life making threats. Yeah. You have a court uh, employee's son 
assault you out in the public, that's a pretty big deal. That's nuts, man. Sandra, thanks for the 10. Finally, some clarity. The story from the beginning. I watched the first YouTube. Uh, I watched the first video from What the Hell. Um, the one with her weird salad for the court. The whole thing is a mess. A weird word. salad. Uh, probably words. Probably word salad. Word. Oh, yeah. I was. That's the one, one thing that really struck me with all her claims about you guys. Like it was just no punctuation. Like it, they were just rambling claims. It just, it seemed I, at first I thought this seems like mental illness, but actually I thought a lot of this sounds like drug induced psychosis. <laughs> what it sounds like. It's crazy. It's, it's literally crazy. Jay. Thanks for the two Larry. That was for Larry. No time. Long time. No see. I'll, I'll give him some love off there. I'll send him that Kim. Thanks for the five. Thank you uh, both for supporting the hails and my uh, birth town. I'm one town over now, and this is so much needed to show local corruption. Wow. You'll get a lot of statements like that from, from locals or not just in that, that area, but areas that are surrounding about exposing mm -hmm. corruption. Yeah. Yeah, they, yes. they're all like Otter Creek is such a mess and Levy County is such a mess. When people ask us, where do you live? And we say Otter Creek, we get two responses. It's either never heard of it or. Why are you serious? <laughs> Why? <laughs> We're like, well, it worked perfect for our business plan. And by the way, for our business plan, our business plan, it, it worked perfectly. And, and we've it's been so blessed. a thousand times better than we, we ever, ever thought. Managed, so, imagined. So we, we love the area and where we're at. It's it's the corruption and some of the people that mm -hmm. are the issue. Well, maybe shining that, that spotlight on it. Maybe that'll help out for sure. You have a lot of people with that, like you said, too. A lot of people. Uh, early on, you said uh, most people, they can't afford to take on these forces. They can't afford to take on the lies or anything else. And that is, that's a, that's a big deal. Thomas, thanks for the super sticker, too. Thank you for that. Liz, thanks for too. Larry, <laughs> the dog out of the dog crate. He was talking about his, oh, that's funny. He was talking about uh, his relationship. They just, they just uh, unveiled the fact that he's, you know, he's uh, in a relationship. And he said, instead of letting the cat out of the bag, he said, letting the dog out of the dog crate. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Subi Sue, thanks for the vibe. Oh my God, that sign is crazy. Talking about the uh, sign where they oh, accuse you of. Ones. There's worse ones. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We've only showed one of the nine. Well, I mean, those are life ruination tactics. Some another YouTuber coined it best with that life ruination. It's not it's not out there to to accuse you of something. It's hopefully ruining your lives. And it's amazing considering it was all about, again, a, a person that wanted money. And when you said no. Subi Sue, thanks for the end. Thanks again uh, for what you and Larry do. Just amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Little me, Sue, where are you? Yeah, actually, what's funny, you. what's funny is when that came up, there, Little B was like, Please sing again, please. In the tunnel, <laughs> please see the song at the end. Love you both. <laughs> so you started singing. I was like, Hey, that's pretty funny. That's funny. Yeah, Tracy Lee, there was another one. Everyone hears Jeremy sing his song. So you did hit that one. That was early on. So good deal. Liz, thanks for five all the time kept George's first name private and they are putting it out there. Mm -hmm. Ask Larry about the dog. So, so her there, there and is. her followers are. So we, we I've kept George's first name private on purpose because she's a female online and needs protection. And um, with all of this court, with all these postings, yeah, it's, it's something that we're not going to be able to redact from everything, but George is always still going to be George. And, and, uh, um, and hopefully we get our ability to protect ourselves from crazy people like them again. So George is still George. Every, every viewer who's ever watched, George is always going to be George, no matter what. I may get that. I, I didn't have a name for a long time. And then uh, thank you, Washington Post. <laughs> they gave me my name. So I, I get it. You keep it out of there. Not just, I mean, you, you keep it out of there for family and everything else, you know, and unfortunately, there are crazy people out there that, that they want to yeah. do damage. Wagstall, thanks for the 20 there. 
Larry, she could allegedly marry you too. Uh, it's about the, as she uh, is supposedly a minister. Oh, wow. Yeah. His girlfriend's a minister as well. <laughs> well, Lynette. Lynette. Oh, is Lynette is a minister. Is a Paul stripping minister. <laughs> She's an ordained minister. Ordained minister. Has, <laughs> has successfully been divorced seven times. Seven times. times. Oh. Seven times she wants to marry people as if mm. she has any insight on what a successful marriage is. <laughs> I'm going to tell that to Larry, actually. I'll be like, hey, if your relationship goes any further, man, I know a minister you could tune into. Yeah, yeah. Bring, her, bring her down to Otter Creek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have the wedding right here in the schoolhouse. Oh, wait. Lynette can't be 500 feet near us. You know, Forget that, may that not work. plan. Uh, yeah, uh, that won't work. Uh, maybe maybe she could video conference in. I don't know. I don't know the particulars of that. <laughs> no, no contact. <laughs> no contact. No right. third party contact either. That's true. All right, right. <laughs> Debbie, thanks for the two. We have to support the Hales. I, I, I very much agree with that. Like I said, when I heard this, I was curious about it. You know, I'm if Megan tells me to tune into it, I know it's it, it deals with a certain wheelhouse. And oh man, it's just it's crazier than I ever can imagine. Kilobyte, thanks for the 10. DUI guy, Tug, Megan, now Andy, a week ago, Jeremy was asking his audience for help. They were alone fighting their fights thank you jeremy and george i hope you uh, do not feel alone in this battle now well we appreciate you guys coming alongside mm -hmm. we truly do oh yeah like i said for real I, I i legit mean it if you guys need something hey man you know that's that's what these channels we should they should exist for you know covering not just covering cases but actually shining a spotlight on something and doing good i mean we can we can make real change Ray, thanks for the two. I became a fan of Jeremy and George from all the Elvis videos. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Fisty, thanks for the two. Ella, Ella, Ella. I love all you guys. Debbie, thanks for the two. Thank you for sharing all of this. Indeed, I'm glad they came on to talk about it for sure. I appreciate you all coming on. Uh, Jay Waters, thanks for the 10. Jeremy, thank you for uh, fighting for all our rights. I'm a longtime follower, but for some reason, I'm blocked from communicating with you. Could you unblock me so I could support you both better? You can send an email to What the Hails with your YouTube link, and we'll look into it. A lot of times, it's a YouTube glitch. Yes. YouTube removes comments. I get stuff like that. They, they remove comments. They have some auto blocking features. There's all kinds of craziness. They unsub everybody. Yes. So crazy. You see, it. people people have no idea. You know, they think it's the content creator, and, and sometimes there is a small fraction of people. You know, but typically, no, it's YouTube. Lisa, thanks for the ten. John Cook did a video tour of their property. It has been uh, it has been cleaned up, but you can tell where the garbage was because of the dead, sickly grass. Only reason it's clean is because what the hell's exposed them. I mean, that's that's, that's a positive true. thing that it's being cleaned up for the child. So that's yes. a very positive thing. It still needs a ton of work because I do drive past it, but. They they managed to not show all of the dangers that still exist on the property. Tony, thanks for the 10. Subscribe to all your channels. Good luck tomorrow, Jeremy. George, don't worry yourself. Everything will be fine. Love all you guys. Love you too. Sending love right back to you. Candace, thanks for the vibe. I'm a mandatory reporter and I've called DCF twice. It's part of DCS. Uh, nothing. She, uh, she lied on her guardianship application the same way she did on her court documents. That's a whole nother story, but that's another big story. Oh, and yeah. She did lie. Did you all cover that on your channel, by the way? Is we it? have not touched on it, um, okay. but it, it's the aspect of how she got the child and the court document. She's lied on all of it, but we have not covered that on the channel. But you might want to get with Candace and you might want to cover it on yours. Yeah. Hi, Candace. Mail me. Yeah. You just go to my about part on my channel. Hit there. There's a email contact. Make sure to do that or hit me up on Twitter. You know, uh, don't there's a food critic called that umbrella guy. He actually uh, he gets a lot of my hate. Uh, mail it to that umbrella. <laughs> Poor guy. man. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it for him, man. I hate it for him. Uh, Heather, thanks for the two there. There's no statement, but thank you. Uh, Max Lab, thanks for the five. Jeremy, the other day I posted two turtles. Uh, oh, she posted two turtles. We're still turtles. 
Yep, chicken. She lost two chicken turtles in Otter Creek. Has no idea. Has anybody in Otter Creek seen two chicken turtles? <laughs> Crazy. Did you say they were stolen too after that? I'm losing them and still. Oh, <laughs> She's always accusing somebody of doing sure. something and something bad happening to her. Oh, Lord. Liz, thank you for the, the $25 super sticker. Thank you for that. Lisa, thanks for the two. Don't ever play poker, Larry. Oh, yeah, his facial expressions. I want, that interview with you guys uh, was very memeable. I uh, I went through and laughed about a lot of the clips. You know, we caught up on a few things, but his expressions with stuff was priceless. Oh, yeah, yeah. David? Thanks for the five. Can the judge be found guilty of contempt of the Constitution? Um, if you have, be nice. Yeah, oh, that would be nice. I don't know how that works though. No, that would be um, hit hit Larry up when he's live. Ask him exactly what could theoretically happen with the judge. I think some of that would be very interesting. Heather, thanks for the two. Jay, please play the Otter Creek song for newbies. Uh, there we go. We, <laughs> we got it. We got, yeah. we got you. We got you. <laughs> Don, thanks for doing. Aloha. Uh, aloha to both of you. Uh, you know my fam stands with you guys. It's Zach. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. I'll butcher it. That's a, a southern thing. I butcher every They name. live in Hawaii. They're the family. Don's in Hawaii. Hawaii. It has the son that has the same metabolic disorder. Oh, as oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. And who's living life perfectly. And whose mom and whose mom raised never him never treated him like he was disabled or special needs. You 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 live. Who in the world would would go around telling everybody in front of their child, "Oh, you're li you have a life threatening disease." I mean, can you imagine the complexes this child is yeah. going to grow up with? It's it's just sickening. Don does it right. Lynette does it wrong. Well, I mean, my my child had a a heart issue she had to have surgery on it and i know when you present it you present it as a positive you know you present everything and you don't you don't hammer that point if you do you know you hammer you know hey you're special whatever and i mean all of this it's it's the mental the mental health of this child i, I can't even imagine how that's going to be impacted at four some stuff could turn around but you know, even then robert thanks for the five can we get a follow-up with you um, on Friday after the final court date. So there this won't Friday, be a court date on Friday. Yeah, but there will be follow-ups. Subi Sue. So then thanks Umbrella, DUI, Megan, Chandler. Yeah, thanks to everybody for sure. Three, thanks for the 10. I'm not a psychiatrist, but did this judge have a knight in shining armor syndrome since he lost that ARP case years ago, C documentary, seems to have a thing about damsels in distress. Uh, seems to have a thing about strippers. Now, I, I know, and George knows what that is all uh, talking about. He, he's been famous before. There's a documentary. He actually represented why he was a lawyer, a, a criminal stripper. defense lawyer. He was a criminal defense lawyer. He, he represented a stripper who lied and she went to jail and he lost the case but he tried to she basically she claimed that she was raped by this fraternity well she willingly it was all filmed and it's unedited in the documentary she willingly spread her legs for all of them mm -hmm. but then she went and lied and said they all raped her and the thomasis actually represented her and she went to jail well she said one of them did that's bad i i need to i need to look that up then because again false allegations that's that's the that's one of the cruxes of stuff that I, I, I find fascinating because, you know, with like a lot of the lawyers, they cover, they cover the, uh, the specifics in a court case. Now I just, I find how false allegations impact our justice system. So see, uh, Debbie, thanks for the 10. No statement on there. Thank you. Uh, Kathy, thanks for the two. What the hell's uh, channel is a family. So true. It yeah. really is. So true. Shelly thinks yeah. it gave over 120 microwaves. That's what it said. <laughs> there was a lot. There was a lot. Uh, Heather, thanks for the five. All you are awesome people. Keep up the good work. Rocky, thanks for the two. Cheese curds. <laughs> Is we that, love our cheese curds. We, we cheese our, curds. our first date, we had cheese curds for the first time. <laughs> uh, VFA, thanks for the five. Love the hells. Thank you, uh, DUI guy, for the introduction. Uh, Claire, thanks for the 10. Wait, does the daughter have PKU? If so, it's not life-threatening. My 40-year-old cousin had it. That's just dumb. 
GA1. Uh, GA1. GA1 is what it is. Rocky thinks it too. He pleads the fifth. Yeah, there's another plead the fifth, huh? <laughs> yeah. I am. <laughs> Kiwi, thanks to the two. When and how can you get line at to court? Well, I, I think you talked about like the what's going to happen with Ohio. I think that's yeah. the the when and how. Yes. Kiwi, thanks to the two. Can we get black robe freak in court after this? Hmm. Would be Maybe. nice. Yeah. <laughs> Krim, thanks for the 20. If the temporary injunction has to be renewed every 15 days, who uh, will renew while the writ is under review and the judge does not have insured dictation to rule? He just put it indefinitely with no end. So that's what he did in court today. It's indefinite with no end. In other words, I have a permanent injunction on me, but it is still a temporary injunction. A permanent temporary injunction. That's madness. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that insane? It is totally insane. It is. It will, especially. I mean, there are. You, you're being punished in a way that I mean, a, actual criminals. They don't. They're not punished in in so many cases. And I did nothing. Right. Yeah, you're the you were the victim in this. You went out. You tried to get something done. And ah, oh, small town man. I've lived in many small towns. <laughs> I've lived in many and I've seen the uh, the network. And the place I live at's good. I want to do I, I don't want to dump on them, but I mean I've been in some pretty awful places. I've seen stuff like that play out. Nothing as bad as what you guys are experiencing, but I've seen some crazy old boy club stuff. I bet. Yeah. Gina, thanks for the five. I'm an older woman and um uh, uh, J and G. Streams are nice to me. She's saying, you know, you guys have helped out. How about this, Gina? We know who Gina is. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. She is such a sweetheart. Patrick. By the way, I have no problems with older women. I I love older women. They're so much fun. That's why I'm with her. It's just a no, I'm older. It just older. happens to be a coincidence <laughs> that, I mean, Underwear Bandit isn't old. Which Tug doesn't know who. So Underwear Bandit is uh, another local crashed through one of our gates in her underwear and then got busted and she's a female and she's not old but i have a problem with that she destroyed my property <laughs> the chick that gave tammy a hundred dollar counterfeit uh bill wasn't old okay this is somebody who stole from me another female she gave a counterfeit hundred dollar bill and then i had to press charges against her no she wasn't old but but again i don't have any problems with females i obviously it doesn't matter the age wrong is wrong Regardless what your age is, yeah, the funny, it doesn't make it okay if you're in your 70s and you do something wrong. Here, here's the funny part. One of LineNet's supporters actually made a fake video of, you know, you could create accounts with my with my face and my sure. information. And they made a fake video of me looking at big butts and big boobs and, and porn and said, oh, this is Jeremy's viewing history. And On I'm, Instagram. On Instagram. And I'm looking at her and I'm going, what did they prove? I love women. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like whatever like. I'm not gay. You oh. proved I'm not gay. I love women. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, like, I, well, I don't know were, what goes through these people's minds. They were minds. saying that you were the one liking the pictures of women with big butts and big boobs. I'm like, they. How do they know it wasn't yeah. me? How do they know it wasn't her? How do they know it wasn't her actually doing it? <laughs> Just oh, kidding. Man. It was none of it was neither of us none from of you. the account. They created they, a fake they created video it as part of hate, as part of their hate. No, I'm not <laughs> saying I'm not saying that we didn't watch it a few times, but <laughs> it was on repeat. It was on repeat. It was on repeat. <laughs> I like George. <laughs> well, they, the go-to is, oh, you're a misogynist or sex. I, I mean, I hear that. I'm like, man, my channel's 64% female. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's kind of how am I hitting that demographic? You know, but hey, oh, whatever. <laughs> That's always a go-to, though. You know, you, the indiv like you said, you, individuals, individuals, they do wrong to you. You dislike individuals. Patrick, yeah. thanks for five. What YouTube channels are helping the hails? Um, I mean, I've. <sighs> I don't I don't know all the YouTube channels that have been involved. Again, the the channels that I've been interacting with, DUI guy, uh, Megan Fox. Are there other YouTube channels that deserve? You know, a bearded fisherman in Florida posted. I'm, I'm sure there's others that have posted. Sure. Um, well, we've done recent interviews with uh, Larry, and then we did an interview with Megan, Megan and I'll then pug. now with you. 
Yeah. Okay. But I think there's others that are covering it as well. Sure. And we don't, we don't even know everybody who's, you know, talking about it and covering it. Yeah. I, I mean, just search, <laughs> search the uh, hails and you'll, or search hashtag buckle up, you know, search the hashtags that are, that'll be out there and there'll be more and more people pick it up. Good. That's the way it needs to be. Oh, Leroy <laughs> truth investigation. Yeah. Oh, Leroy. Yeah. Yep. We met with Leroy we as well. So yep. We did that one with Leroy. <laughs> And then bearded fisherman posted, and I, I, I'm, I'm sure there's others. I'm sure there are. We just, we can't remember everything, unfortunately. Sure. Stats, thanks for the day. I'm an older woman, and Jeremy and George love me. Love you both. Thank yeah, you. We stats. don't, we don't discriminate. We have friends of all ages, of all sizes, of all ethnic backgrounds. It doesn't matter. All genders, all everything. Mm. We're just friendly people. Just don't don't lie and don't steal. I mean, it's really that easy. I find like if I get accused of stuff I don't do after a while, I don't defend myself. I just answer <laughs> like with a tag. Yeah, I tag back. I get after a while, you know, people like again they accuse you of the stupidest stuff. Oh, oh, it's the armed. I'm sorry, bearded fisherman is a is a is a moron. It's the armed fisherman in Florida who covered it. So I apologize. I do want to clarify that it's the armed fisherman that has been supportive and covering it. Steve, thanks for the two. When's the next quarter pusher? I don't. We have no idea. No <laughs> idea. No time soon. I can tell you that with everything that's going on. Candace, thanks for the five. Larry, do you think the FBI will think there's enough corruption and leave it? Ask uh, again. Hit Larry up with stuff. I'll, I'll I'll shoot these over and again if anything specific to him i'll shoot him over and you know maybe he'll answer those in his next live he's got lives coming up tomorrow so jay thanks for the five george don't forget about this uh, about the social media accounts as she deleted oh yeah so so earlier i had mentioned that to date i counted 14 social media accounts and she did she did say that she deleted some of them and the ones that she deleted had incriminating posts so huge, many incriminating huge, posts huge <clears throat> you can uh, you might be able to find archives on them if you come up with the names by the way you know? <laughs> if you ever if you ever uh, find a name and you're like i can't find that like pass it on like there's a lot of people that can find that information just saying if you ever need someone like that shanna thanks for vibe i'm scared for my life but i'm going to be in front of him yeah, talk about the narrative of being terrified and yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. She 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 cries that she's scared for her life, but then or she keeps she's breaking the civil protection order. Paralyzed to her order. property. Yeah, she's paralyzed to her property, but she keeps breaking the civil protection order everywhere we go. But then, as an ordained minister, she's willing to travel up to a hundred miles, but she's paralyzed to her property because she fears for her safety and her life, and is afraid people are going to kidnap her, or kill her, and her child. Tina, thanks for the MH report, Jeremy. MH report. I don't know what that Mole one is. The Mole report? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure what that one is. <laughs> the Mole hole report. Maybe. <laughs> we call this the Mole hole. The Mole hole. Barbara, thanks for the two. She also said Jeremy was convicted of SV. What's SV? I think uh, she, she meant to type DV. DV. Oh, so so one of the things so one of the things Lynette has in her in her petition is that is that I've had domestic violence because of a divorce and, and in that divorce tickets. in that divorce in Ohio you you have you automatically both of you male and female it doesn't matter you get a restraining order on each other and that restraining order isn't about contact that restraining order is about property so so when you look at a docket in Ohio it's a you mutual see, no contact order. Yeah, the judge puts it on everybody. It's standard in every single divorce. And so what happens is it's a restraining order on money. She can't spend any money while we're going through the processes. I can't spend any money while we're going through the process unless we both agree upon it through our through, through our the lawyers. legal team. Yeah. yeah. She can't she can't sell something. I can't sell something. Everything has to it's restrained. Everything has to be equal. Yeah, they escrow everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And so what I did in my divorce is I didn't fight. I said, you can have it all. Just take it all. I'll rebuild my life. And that's what I did. And so as soon as the divorce is finalized, the restraining order is lifted as well. And so Lynette is just stupid. She's stupid. She She's doesn't dumb. understand. No, she doesn't does comprehend. not understand 
common sense. So, so it has nothing to do with domestic violence. I've never been violent with anybody or any person. So I mean, the first thing I look at, she's had a protective order put against her against the judge uh, her own on her own grandkids. She's had a protection order against herself. Oh wow. Stay away Does from her that own mean grandkids. there was domestic violence involved? That's that's just how her brain works. Well, I always look up uh, before I do interviews. I do a little due diligence. I look up offender list. Just a minute, you know. Again, you you want to do you that, that basic. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, now I can say with certainty. Uh, in mental health, again, you know, we we're logged into all offender stuff. We we do heavy look into that all the time. It's just standard procedure and. Yeah, no, none of that stuff was there. So that's that's just absurdity. Like I said, I look into that very right off the bat. Jen, thank you for the dollar super chat. Appreciate that. Jackie, thanks for the 20 there. We old ladies love Jeremy and George. And you got a lot of people like self-identifying as old ladies and saying, yeah. uh, hey, I learned from my mom, no, no woman is old. I will never call a woman old, by the way. We feel like we have so many adopted grandmas. And adopted like aunts we're so and blessed. Uncles. We're yeah. so blessed mm -hmm. that that uh, these individuals rally around us and love on us. And and they'll come up to us and we're like, I know you don't know you don't know me, but I feel like I know you guys and you are my kids. You are my kids. You're my grand. I watch you every day. I pray for you every day. You are mine. And we're going, Great. How how could you <laughs> ever awesome. have grandmas, right? Yeah. Well, no, like you said, I, I try to I, I try to tell people this. We don't have fans. People say those words. No, the people that are there every day, that is the channel. I, I love that you said that because that umbrella guy, that's the way I look at it. You know, I'm the lucky person that has the microphone or makes videos. But the people who make your channel, that's that's everyone that shows up. Yes, yeah. very much so. Very much so. Shannon, thanks for the ten dollar super sticker. Appreciate that. Uh, Teresa, thanks for the five. We love Jeremy and George. Hashtag what the hells. Hashtag the planet is watching. <laughs> Debbie, thanks for the two. The hells are the real thing. The uh, Janice, th thanks for the five. The jokalist is not a journalist. She has never no. been to college and doesn't have a journalist degree. No, she doesn't. No, she does not. Mystery Isky, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for the 10. I love you, Jeremy and George. Sending love right back to you, Bonnie. Thanks for five. There's a lot of love. I love. I mean, I see it all through here too. Love what the hell's. Uh, stay strong. We're getting the word out. God bless you both. Thank you. Thank Sue you. Thank Sue, you. also. Thanks for that. Here's a, a love to the hell's. Uh, DUI guy and Megan. Pepper and C. Yeah. Pepper and C. Thanks for the five. I am uh, having coin pusher withdrawal. Get home. <laughs> so, what's the coin <laughs> pusher? Brother? I'm just curious about that. Me too. Uh, yeah. You'll have to go through our coin pusher okay. playlist. Just so you got a out. playlist on it? Okay. Yeah, there's a playlist on it's, everything. It's a coin okay. pusher that's Elvis themed. So that's where Elvis. Oh, it's a coin it. pusher machine. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're all this over thing. Florida. There's, there's only a handful of states where they're still legal. So yeah. Florida, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, a couple others as well. Kathy, thanks for the five. We got your back. Jeremy and George, know you're loved. Oh, thank you. Juliet, thanks for the five. Love you what uh, hells. Don't worry. Don't be on a plane. LOL. <laughs> okay. Debbie, <laughs> Debbie, thanks for the five. I'm a proud member of the What the Hell family. Love me some Jeremy, George, and uh, Anne. Thing, uh, see you all soon. Can't wait. <laughs> Florida Snowbird, thanks for the two there. Ammo Girl, thanks for the 10. Did the judge recommend Silverman to Lynette? Love you guys. We believe it was Amanda Martin. We have no proof whatsoever. What I will share with you is we have done a public information request on every email and every piece of communication in the state of Florida that says Jeremy Hales or what the Hales. And so we're trying to find out what's been going on in that courtroom. And it will go from every town to every to every county to the full state. Anybody who has used the words Jeremy Hales or what the Hales, we currently are getting all that information to see what truly happened. Florida Snowbird, thanks for the two. Love what the Hales. Thank you, Tug. Hey. 
love having them on. I, I like the fact that like you all are an open book on stuff. I mean, everything It's like, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I, I like how prepared. I mean, again, you've been in court. So you, 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 you've lived this, but also, I mean, you've been in court, so you've had to structure all of this. So a lot of people, when you ask them about stuff, they wouldn't be so structured. So Debbie, thanks for the two. Lynette needs to lose and pay. That's not your fault. Fubar, thanks for the five. George, thank you. I got a photo I needed. New t-shirt going to be printed. Once done, I will send. Plus, uh, you will have all the rights to sell merch. Awesome. Thank you. Apparently, you got a side deal going on there. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty Mama, thanks for the 279. Hashtag, what the hell strong? Thank you so much. C. Warren, thanks five. Stay positive. Things will work out. Sergeant Monk, thanks for the 10. I'm looking forward to uh, the end of this when George and Jeremy can get back to peaceful life and justice is served. Hashtag buckle yeah. up. We cannot take our freedoms. So, yes. and, and I know Mayor Dan's probably still in the chat. I mean, I've told him he's texted us and he said, you know, do you need an extra set of eyes on, we call Hale's headquarters. We call our home up north, Hale's headquarters. Like you need an extra set of eyes. And I've just told him, I was like, listen, I just, I can't wait to get home. And this is home as well, mm. but this is chaos. And, and where we're up North, there, there are no problems. There's nothing. And, and so, you know, we're, we're blessed that way to where we, we snowbird, but to know that we do go back home up North with open arms and not more chaos is going to be a blessing as well. Yeah. I mean, the, going from injecting positivity to, to having to deal with it. God, man. Yeah. He's still in there. I see a, I see a message right there. He says he's still there. So. Tiny cook. Thanks for the two judge needs to pay. Uh, JH attorney for wasting time. Yeah, for sure. Wasting all of y'all's time for sure. Agreed. If it's possible. Yes. Clean. Thanks for the two. Thank you. Tug Larry, Megan and Ray bone crusher. I forgot Ray bone crusher. Oh, you, I want to share one more thing because okay. Mayor Dan's in there and we've done a lot of things and you asked about philanthropic things. So Mayor Dan, the way that I met Mayor Dan in our village, it's so ironic. It really is. So there was a flea market and it was in the village and I went and it was like an artisan flea market. Now, and that's not the kind of thing I'm into. I love old toys and antiques and stuff like that. So I went, I'm like, oh man, this was a waste of time. And I was leaving and I saw a garage sale sign. And I was like, oh man, I went to this garage sale and there was Wasn't great stuff. Wasn't he putting stuff. the sign as you were? I think his dad was putting the sign up. So there's great stuff there. And so there, there was a, there was a, a young lady there and and uh, I was buying toys. There's like Barbies and stuff. And there was Disney, Disney pins. pins. And I'm like, how much you want for all of it? They're like, you want it all? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. And so this young lady comes out and, and I said, hey, I still got some money left. I mean, where's your table? What's yours? And she takes me over to her table and she had these drawings of monsters. OK, now she doesn't know, number one, that I'm a YouTuber. And number two, that I love Ghostbusters. Like Ghostbusters anything is monsters, my Anything monsters, anything gross. So That's Garbage Pail Kids, Ghostbusters. So she has a price of 25 cents on, on this drawing that she did. And I said, well, I got $7. Would you take $7? And her eyes are just like, what? <laughs> she went, oh, and I'm like, he just offered me $7. And I was like, I was like, I tell you what. And I had this idea because we, we hadn't given anything in, in a little bit of time. And, you know, a little bit of time means different for different peoples. But, but I said, I'll tell you what, you, you don't know this, but I'm on YouTube. I said, I'm going to try and sell this and I'm going to give you, yeah, I think I told her I was going to give her the money. I don't remember all the specifics, but it was Mayor Dan's granddaughter and we auctioned off her, her drawing on our channel for a thousand dollars. That's amazing. <laughs> and, we had no idea how much it would, it would go up for. And had no idea. It was it's so random because I was going to a flea market. There's a garage sale. I love garage sales. We sold, we sold everything that we bought. And then we sold, we sold her drawing thousand dollars for, for this young lady and come to find out this is the granddaughter of the mayor of the village. And <laughs> we brought her to the house, which we don't. Oh, they were. So we they don't were, do. We they don't were do watching people. the live when we auctioned it off, and she's crying. Yeah. There's family in the chat saying yeah, that she's saying over she here crying. crying. And so, like tears of joy. We had we had her come to the house, which we don't we don't do. We don't open our home up to people for sure. protection. 
and we have peacocks and a bird aviary and everything. And so we're like, oh, let's go check this out. And we were able to gift her a thousand dollars for her drawing and mayor dan so, came with her and her parents and then and she drew that. me more monsters <laughs> I'm like, oh. I, I was like i was like are you gifting these to me or do you just want me to auction them off again you She's know like, so no, we're, no. It, was, it was just so cool but it's just small little things like that mm -hmm. if i could impress anybody in the chat small little things like that make a difference if sure. god has blessed you to be able to make a difference like that and mm -hmm. and and uh, you know, just, just silly. I, we could give you tons of examples, but that's how we got to meet the mayor of our village from a garage sale and then taking that 25 cents, giving her seven dollars, but then auctioning it off <laughs> to our fans for a thousand. <laughs> well, I, the, the impact you have on kids with stuff like that, too. I mean, my kids and I, we make uh, comic books. You know, we make uh, oh, so cool. uh, all ages. Yeah. And, um, you know, my my daughter for this one, she got to make her own cover. You know, I was like, ah, oh, you know, you do this. The artist, you know, put her drawing into it. And I mean, it's, it's just amazing how uh, the impact that you can have on a kid like that. It, and I mean, you can influence a lifetime of, of positive decisions with it. And again, you know, they'll know, hey, people give back. That's great. I love that. I love stories like that. Hey, Matt, thanks for the two. Love the slippers she wears to every court. <laughs> she, yeah, she wears yeah. slippers. She wore slippers today. I it was it slippers or sandals? Slippers. Okay, ship ships. Ship she was wearing ship ships. Arabic uh, for slippers today. is ship ship. <laughs> And I should have put them up. I, you know what? I didn't even think I'm, I'm so technically deficient sometimes. I was like, man, I could have shown these super chats on the screen. I'm six hours away. I'll uh, be there for the last court session. Levy County. Hope others will join me. Yeah, we don't know when that'll be. So. Nobody knows when that will be. It could but, be a year from now. We appreciate uh, hopefully the soon. support. Hopefully very soon. Well, uh, thanks for the 10. Hey, guys. Uh, still sending much love. Much love and Tennessee guy here myself. LOL, I can't wait for this to end for you guys. Otter fellas. Sounds like a movie, a good movie. Uh, Otter fellas. Somebody's gonna want these movie rights. We we think Netflix oh, yeah. is gonna come in with the highest bid for movie rights. Yeah, I mean it, it sounds like you're gonna have a oh, I mean, if the Thomases can do a documentary, so can we, right? Yeah, that's true too. That's true too. <laughs> Would you all uh why don't you cut your own documentary? I mean, you know, you could do all the editorial and stuff. We already I have. Mean, we it's are on the YouTube. channel. We yeah, did. I mean, you can compress it how you want to put everything. Yeah, see, I mean, that's great. That's great. You could sell that sucker. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Do more with it. Shane Cook. Thanks for the two. man. Thanks, Shane. Supporting the cause from Wales. Yeah, Shane's a good guy. Debbie. Thanks for the two there. J and G. Larry has my, uh, my number. And I want to talk with you. All right. Sounds good. Jeffrey, thanks for the five there. Half a million subscribers. If half of them each sent a dollar, it would be enough to pay for all of this. I'll give mine Sunday night. Hashtag buckle up. Aw, thanks, Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey's a good guy, too. Yeah, for real. I mean, that, again, all of the stuff. <laughs> I just, uh, every time I hear a court case, like that's how I look at it. Money, 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 money. You know, because it's never ending. Yeah. Ashley, thanks for the five. We all love George, Jeremy so much. They have the greatest souls and the biggest hearts. Hashtag buckle up. Thanks. Hashtag WGH exactly. strong. Jamie, thanks for the three. Please send prayers for Bo and his family. That's yeah. Guapo. That's one of our buddies we hang out with, and his his grandfather passed away. This I week, messaged so. Chapo. So we've been praying, Chapo. praying for them as they go through this um, this troubling time. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's you, you make the most you make the most with the time that God gives you with those you, you love. You really you got to you got to spend time. And that's where I focus with with George on fun employment, even if she wants to argue and fight. Fun employment is better spending time together than it would be in an office you oh, know, yeah. or, or in a factory or anything else. So, you know, you make you use the time that you have and and hopefully use it well and wisely. It's good to be our own boss too, you know. <laughs> Just to be honest, so you yeah. can you can do whatever you want like that. That's great. <laughs> Jessica, Jessica, Jessica did get ordained as well. She's another. <laughs> She's another <laughs> there ordained. are a lot of ordained ministers in Otter Creek now, so uh, that's so amazing. The goal, the goal is to see. Oh, I see Larry uh, Leroy Truth Investigations in the house now. 
The goal is to see if we can get somebody ordained in under 30 seconds. And uh, getting close. I think I'm next. Yeah, getting close. <laughs> Barbara, thanks for the uh, two. Love Jeffrey. And, uh, I said Jeffrey. Jeremy and George, my bad. I'm sorry about that. I go, I'll, I'll go by whatever you call Jeffrey, me. okay. Hey, Jeffrey. Thanks. I've been called much worse. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, I read a few of those. <laughs> Suby Sue, thanks for the end. I joined what the hells. So, uh, Hope Thank no you. issue. Love much Subi, love. Subi, Subi. Where Subi, are Subi. you? I love it. Yeah, Subi Sue's good people too. Props to you. Kevin, thanks for the five. A big fan of the Hells. I watch their Thank videos. You, Kevin. Jessica, thanks for the two. I was ordained in Otter Creek. Hashtag Otter Freak. Yeah, Otter Freak. Here in Otter Creek. Otter Freaks <laughs> is our baseball team. And Jessica already has her uniform and her number. Deanna so. and, and Jessica are the two yeah. that have their. They have their Otter Freaks uniforms. So They're we have a schoolhouse that we team. bought, 10,000 square foot schoolhouse. It's got a baseball diamond as well. We want to start the Otter Freaks baseball. Team. <laughs> That's awesome. Urban Interface, what's up? Thanks for the five for the uh, Egyptian on a mission. George here is some money for a grill and chill this summer. Aww. Oh, thank you. Thank you. John, thanks for the two. Jeremy, tell Tug about, <laughs> about Don the Con's weed. All right, Tug, as fast as possible. Uh, there's, <laughs> a, there's a council member that sits on the town council. We call him Don the Con. His name is Don Severino. And in his younger days in Florida, his friend stole all of his pot and his weed, and he called the police to, to report, to report that. That, the, that his friend stole all his illegal pot and weed, <laughs> and he got arrested. That's how dumb these people are. <laughs> uh, that's awesome, though. Hmm. Uh, there's so many stories that sound awesome. Oh my goodness! There. Like there's there so really many is. side stories. Such a tiny uh, town and so many, so stories. many layers. Oh wow! <laughs> Dana, thanks for the ten dollars super sticker. Appreciate that. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks for the ten. What happened after uh, tomorrow's court? What's next? Yeah, we'll... stay tuned to our videos yep. and you'll find out what's next. Yeah, Bye, actually, yeah. again, yeah, tomorrow five thirty tuning for that i'm definitely tuning in for that i'm uh, you and larry, like you like said that video and then i want to see what larry like what ads again there's this huge picture that's developing <laughs> and oh, i hope i hope everybody tunes into it too make it a massive hit share it share it on every social again it was, it was interesting you're like nobody messages on twitter well make this stuff trend on twitter too because twitter can, you yeah you <laughs> put it out there and gee, thanks for the uh, five there. Thanks for your willingness to share your fight for all those who have been victims of the court system and psychopaths. We are many. Stay safe. Thank you so much. Thank you. John, uh, there was one about uh, Don the Con. So <laughs> We got that one. We got yep. that one. Uh, Double Karma, thanks for the five. Jeremy, do a brief thing. RE, the Ohio warehouse and the landlord. So basically what Double Karma is talking about when we were in Ohio, we used to rent warehouse space mm -hmm. and the landlord, her mm -hmm. name was Marilyn, the landlord had a partnership with Brian and they had a dispute and then she started to change the locks and she turned the utilities off and the whole deal. And, and we had to go to court because she kept changing the locks on us and turning the utilities off. She on us never gave when I was proper, under, when I was under proper contract. notice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She never gave proper notice of an eviction. She just locked everything and did it the complete illegal way. Never even gave a notice like, Hey, you need to be out in 30 days, never gave a notice that you need to be out in 60 days, nothing, just. And then sold the building. And we just agreed that we just agreed that, well, honestly, what happened, here's Marilyn Raby in the chat right now. <laughs> honestly, honestly, uh, it's one of the things that spurred us into Florida because we were going to build a 10,000 square foot warehouse down here on our property, but we didn't have to build. We bought the school. We bought yeah. the old school. It's 10,000 square feet. And not, it's it's not actually a, better. Not a distribution center, just a warehouse to store our inventory. Cause that's yeah. another rumor. There's that's all these around. rumors that these rich YouTubers came in and they're going to do a distribution distribution center and they're gonna we want to hide in the woods we just we want our buildings to do our work and do our things and help people but the reality is we just want to hide in the woods 
it, isn't it amazing some of the rumors you hear about yourself you're like wow i will i never knew that i never knew that there's about so myself. many conspiracy theories right now there's a rumor i'm five five there's a rumor we were married we got married in like 2012 before we, didn't even we ever meet, meet. until 2018 <laughs> i mean there, we got married six years before we ever met each other in person there's so <laughs> many rumors tube down soup free thanks of the vibe is the goat let's get the it's all the main thing, but yeah. Soup Freak is the go. Yeah. Soup yeah. Freak is the go. He's tall. He's a big dude. We we met him at our meet and greet. Yeah, Soup Freak's the go. Candace thinks so too. Would love to chat with you. I'll send you my deets. Yeah, talk with Candace. She's got she's got a lot of info to share with you. Do, okay. Yeah. Hey, I'm, you. Seriously, hit me up. You know, I'm 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 all for her. again when, when for me like people cover stuff I. I, all this is a puzzle to me, and I, I hate it. And it has the puzzle pieces. Good, because I, I obsessively need to know. I'm like, I gotta know. <laughs> I gotta know. So hit me up for sure. John, thanks for the two. Hear me up. <laughs> Man, he really <laughs> wanted us to talk about it. Yeah. Kansas. It's funny. Love seeing you. Uh, thanks, you back Candace. to smiling. Subi Sue, thanks for the 10. Hashtag truth. We'll tell the truth. Much love. Yes. Yes. Fubar, thanks for the five. Jeremy, five. Long for this message. Sorry, my memory's fried. Two X or three X uh, t-shirts plus Ohio mail gets sent to Florida. So I prefer three X. I don't like anything tight on me. I like everything mm -hmm. oversized. I That's like three X. Three X. And then there's shrinkage. Yeah. The clothing. Yeah. Just so we're clear. Sure, yeah, uh, indeed. And then Ohio mail stays in Ohio with Christian and patience until we get back. Florida mail is coming to Florida. Uh, if you send to the PO box and there's a lot of, there's a lot of videos on the PO box in Florida, or you can just message us at what the hell is at yahoo.com. And eventually we'll let you know what the PO box is. But a lot of people in the chat will tell you too. Mm -hmm. Jessica. Thanks for the uh, super super whoops. <laughs> Messed that one up. Uh, Helen, thanks for the five. I'm 65 and love G and J. Watch she's, a, she's over in New Zealand. Thanks. Helen. Where I I want to go and I want to go visit her. That's, that's a dream of mine is to go spend time in New Zealand. We came this close to going to New Zealand last year. But we went to we went to the Grand Canyon, Vegas, we were in California, Hawaii. Hawaii instead. But I really want to go to New Zealand. Jay Waters, thanks for the 10. Thank you, Tug, for allowing uh, Jeremy and George to share their experiences with our corrupt judicial system. Jeremy, email was sent. Best wishes and prayers for your strength to continue you. brightly. Yeah, I'm, hey, I'm glad y'all came on Thank for you, real. Jay. I, know. I, 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 I don't do a lot of guests. I, I don't, you know, I don't... Um, I don't like bothering people with stuff, but I was like, man, you know, I have questions. I, I tried to mail you with questions at first. And then I was like, man, this is like a ton of things. Maybe I'll just, uh, you guys yeah, want to come on. The easiest thing is just say, all right, puke it all out and let's sort it <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, whenever I was like, my Lord, this is a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn's trying to get an injunction. Marilyn just know. sent a 499 saying, just wait for the MRSDG injunction. You won't be able to breathe on, on your, your own, own property. property. <laughs> Marilyn Raby's going to put a. Bring it on, Marilyn. On That's a fan <laughs> that pretends to be our old arch nemesis, Marilyn. Who locked us out of our warehouse <laughs> and we just have a ton of fun uh goofing around and yeah. laughing terry, but uh, we did terry we did get the fish and wildlife report thank you okay mickey mouse thanks for the five there appreciate that mama cat thanks for the 10 we're uh starting our christmas in the creek shopping for you love y'all love it love Aww, it we can't you, wait mama for cat. christmas in the creek 2024 it's going to be twice as big as this past year hopefully no rain this this year <laughs> Mistrust, thanks for the five. Love, Jeremy and George. Just wanted to let you know that I not everyone it. in Jersey sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah, it. Yeah, we know. Thank you. We know there's good people everywhere. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. Jessica, thank you for the super chat. Thanks, Jessica. Julia, thanks for the five. I meant to say I won't be on a plane. Oh, it's uh, 2.45. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I still don't understand, but... <laughs> 
<laughs> Don, thanks for the I'm about to kidnap you guys and bring you back to my island. Whoa, oh, we're in we Don's, a, we're in Don's we're in uh, profile, profile there when we were in Hawaii. Yep, that's when we got to meet Don in Hawaii. Yes, we had a that's great awesome. time in Hawaii. Pretty good. Thanks for the fifty there. Uh, thank you. Uh, good luck praying for y'all. Thank, thank you, you Frida. Frida. Fubar, thanks, Five. Jeremy and George, you need to set up uh, your lives for Super Chats. They are. It is. Yeah, yeah. That's, if you don't have enough your lives, you definitely need to. Fancy Pants, thanks, Five. I can think of a few people who need a good old hunk, uh, Hulk fist punch. Love. <laughs> <laughs> my Hulk fist is in my office. Usually so, when someone sends us a Super Chat, I have this oversized Hulk, pump. and then we give them a fist pump. But there's just so many that come through. That the whole time my fist is in the camera. <laughs> Wild Stallions. Thanks for the two. Amber Heard can play Lynette. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yes, man. <laughs> Liz, thanks for the two. George, uh, the 29th of February here. Ask Jeremy to marry you. On leap year. That's tomorrow. Obviously, Liz has not seen all the videos on the channel. <laughs> So, Liz, there's a, a little little something you should. There's a video out there you might want to take a look at. There's things that have already transpired. Thanks, Liz. Check out the little videos there. That, Mar that is Marilyn Raby. Marilyn Raby. Thanks for that. Uh, number one part. fan in the house. <laughs> the original pain in the side. And boy, do we miss her now. <laughs> <laughs> the Wookiee done it. Thanks for the two. Much love Thank to Jerry Jor. Uh, and tug essex uk thank you appreciate that and, and as we see things with and we're joking about marilyn raby and now like that listen guys wherever there is money there's somebody trying to get it the wrong way wherever people perceive there's money there's people trying to get it the wrong way whether it's locking somebody out of a warehouse or whether it's stalking somebody to a tiny town uh, there's always somebody trying to get money so people people often say man jeremy jeremy and george attract you know all this drama it's people trying to get money the wrong way, and we don't appreciate it. No, like you, you don't have to be large on like YouTube or something to attract crazy either. But the bigger you get, the more crazy, and the, the okay. crazier it feels like you get. <laughs> it comes yeah. with the territory when you put your life online. The hate and, does too. And when no, we no. give away the microwaves, we got a lot of hate. So no matter what we do, we get hate. Yeah, you're you're gonna get it. People are gonna say you do things for the wrong. I mean, again, you go back to that ninety five percent. Focus on it. Yep. Yep. Karen, thanks for the five. I miss the Elvis coin pusher days, but this nonsense. <laughs> is entertaining. It 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 is entertaining. It is I'll give you that, Karen. But it's stressful at the same time. Thank yeah. you, Karen. Yeah, I mean, it it is entertaining until. I mean, that is the problem with the YouTube stories, though, you know, because these aren't stories. They're lives. Like like life. you said, this is your life. life. Green Monster, thanks for the $10 super uh, sticker. Thank you. John, thanks for the two. Uh, sorry if it repeats. Prayers for Jeremy and George. Thank There's you, no, John. No problem repeating that either, for sure. You're a truth investigations. Thanks, for, uh, Jeremy. Can you reach out to me? I'm an organizing group of auditors to come down and attend one of your hearings. Leroy, just go ahead and email me again, and then uh, I'll find it. I'll find it. That's the easiest thing to do. But um, absolutely, we can we can arrange that for sure. Jamie, thanks for the two. Days in crew, loves you, Jeremy and George. Thank Jamie, you, Jamie's Jamie. a sweetheart. Days in crew, there. When we had this meet and greet, they booked out all the hotels in in the nearby cities, and the the party group. They were all at days in and like they never slept. They never, they, uh, none of them knew each other and they all show up and they take over the days in and it's the days in crew. And I swear, man, they never slept. They had the time of their lives. <laughs> the days in crew was the first crew that got a private tour of the schoolhouse as well. well oh, really? yeah. yeah. Kim, thanks for the 10. Jeremy, tell about selling the hoodie. Well, uh, I'm actually, I think I can pull it up. So we had our, our meet and greet and, um, my hoodies, I always wear a gray hoodie. It's just really warm right now. And then we sold my hoodie and it was for the benefit. Uh, this is another, this is another, uh, 
Wait, hold a second. I'm going to show it to you. So we sold my hoodie. On behalf of campus. What's, what's the check made out for? $15,000. Oh, wow. $15,000 for kids going to camp. My goodness. Wow. Wow. Uh, so there you get to see it instead of instead of me telling you about it. So uh, one of our beautiful fans, Jackie, she's such a blessing. Uh, she bought my hoodie for fifteen thousand dollars and all the money was donated to Camp Patmos to help kids go to camp. And that's so amazing. That's ph phenomenal. Phenomenal. Just, there's so many stories like this. That, I mean, this these people, these people in your chat, they're just incredible, incredible people. Fifteen thousand. I mean, that's, that's awesome, man. Maryland, thanks for the fun. Just wait for, oh, yeah, we hit that one. You were talking about that when it came in. And by the way, the Maryland Rabie Who Sucks Dried Gravy was there as well. And and Maryland Rabie Who Sucks Dried Gravy is. We did more, a big reveal yeah. of who the real Maryland was. Another incredible person. Absolutely incredible person with a generous heart for people. And and we, we just love those type of people. We really do. I mean, we, you could never have enough of those type of people around you, right? And so we love these people. James, thanks for the two. Umbrella guy, take this to the Christmas party. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Yeah. You know, one day I'm going to show up at some event. I've actually shown up at a couple events, but nobody knew who I was. <laughs> but one that's day I'm going to cool. show up at an event and be like, hey, that's me. Yeah. It's kind of cool to show up in an event and be like, nobody knows who you are. You know what I mean? Dale, thanks for the two. Hashtag all what the hell subscribers give Jeremy and George a dollar. Yeah. Indeed. I, I, I like that idea, actually, that we cover everything. That's amazing. Thanks, uh, Jay, thanks for the five. Jeremy, I hope Christian uh, put the Ghostbusters, the signs, because uh, I have the greatest cookies in there. Ooh. Oh, nice. Nice. Thanks, Jay. Huh? Kathy, thanks <laughs> for the two there. You didn't tell him about the driveway. I have a very, 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 very big driveway. Very in long Florida driveway. and Ohio. So um, the the question is, which driveway is longer in, in Ohio or Florida? We still don't know. Or the hallway <laughs> here. Now we got a giant hallway as well. And so they're, 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 all, they're all inside jokes that the What the Hales family members, I mean, they get it. That's they, great, they, though. They, they I mean, that's, yeah. that's what you develop over time. Again, that's how you develop, you know, a family there. Yeah. yeah. Kids, thanks for the two there. Ketchup is cool. And they know I love ketchup. I like, I love ketchup. Yep. That's another thing that I love. Mickey Mouse. Thanks for the two. Are J and G going to court tomorrow and Friday? No. Nope. We were there today. Everything's on hold currently. Yeah. CJQ. Thanks for the two. <laughs> Tube Town is definitely coming down. Ha ha. Yeah. So Lynette and Crook. Another conspiracy. Another theory. conspiracy that we're trying to buy every piece of property in Otter Creek and turn it into <laughs> nothing but YouTubers, and that this whole town would be renamed Tube Town. Tube that was, Town. That's that awesome. was part of John's testimony to the Ohio in court, judge in court. He goes, <laughs> "Your Honor, Your Honor, you don't understand. Tube Town is coming." <laughs> and the judge <laughs> is looking at me, and I'm going. She's probably um, like, is he on meth? <laughs> yeah. Tomb Town. That's Crazy. awesome. <laughs> Sue me, Sue. Thanks for the Thanks again for sharing them with us all. Thank Much you. love. Chris, thanks for 20. See, I'm watching, but don't say a thing. Love you both. WTH. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Chris. No need thanks for the two. How can we start a WTH legal fund? So, Joni... I, I specifically don't want to start a fund. Now, if God leads you to give, that's between you and God. But what I want, what I really want is I want to pay my legal bills. And when we do things like Christmas in the Creek and we say, hey, if you want to be a part of that, I rather people give towards others 
and kids and you know can't we just saw camp and we talked about skylar you know with her with her drawing and and we've talked about helping the police department we've talked about you know i i rather the fan base actually let me take on the legal expenses and, and then, then the, be a part of a positive and impact. then be a let me take care of the negative garbage is what i'm saying sure and you all be part of one of the most positive movements moving forward for others now if you want to give you still can I'm not, I, I would never stop anybody from a blessing because I'm a giver as well. And I know I'm blessed by giving and I, I would never stop anybody, but my true heart's intent is let me take care of the garbage. You guys be a part of all the positive, good things. I like that outlook. Yeah. I mean, in the end, if people want to support your channel and do what you do, they are, they're supporting you. I mean, that's and we often, we often tell people the, the greatest support you could ever give us on your, on the channel, watch every video from the very beginning to the very yep. end. Yep. That, that is even the, you, I know, I know people don't understand. We what won't that get does. upset if you watched it twice. Yeah. So, but <laughs> what it does is YouTube works on a mathematical algorithm and the longer the watch time, the more it pushes yep. it up. And, yep. and it, it gets more so exposure. More, yeah, more so people. what needs to happen is more exposure to see what's the corruption that's happening in this area. The more you watch of the video from the beginning to the end, the more YouTube pushes it out, more people see the cor corruption, something happens and it gets taken care of. And so that's one of the greatest ways you could give to the channel. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that works for any channel out there for sure. Do it for them and <laughs> do it here if you want to as well. For yep. sure. Pepper and see, thanks too. What's your email? What the hails at at yahoo.com. What the hails at yahoo.com. You see, if I were smart, I would have a that umbrella guy at whatever, but I don't. That's <laughs> a weird one. It's all Shit. marketing. It's all marketing. Yeah. Shane, thanks for the vibe. It's 3 a.m. here in Wales, and I will stay wow. until it ends. You go to bed, Shane. Yeah, wow. get you some sleep. <laughs> oh, appreciate you, though. Thank you. And thanks for the two Why there. Why not? Why <laughs> not? <laughs> Can't things be can't be nuttier. nuttier. That's true. It's very true. <laughs> Alina's so right. Uh, Gil thinks of uh, when Judge uh, Dumb <laughs> is, uh, is officially out, is there going to be a uh, a Liberty in the Creek celebration. Well, I can tell you that we found a lot of high-end fireworks in a storage unit that I'm setting aside for a celebration when this is all done. All right. I, whether I get arrested or not, I'm setting them off. <laughs> and, and I've set them aside. They're high-end. They're big ones. And I am setting them off in Otter Creek when this is all over in celebration. So there will be a celebration. Thanks, Gil. Chi-Chi, thank you for the $10 super sticker. Thanks, Chi-Chi. Dan, thanks for the five. Hello. Hello. Herman George, I love yeah. Florida. Richard's we Auto, Auto. Said, hope you don't have any more flats. They <laughs> saved us. Richard's Auto saved us. We got a flat tire, and they literally saved us. Well, we bought we bought our very first enclosed trailer when we moved to Florida from Hudson, Florida. Yep. And then we went back there and bought a storage unit and we got a flat in the facility. And then Richard's Richard's auto saved us. And here's the thing. Afterwards, I was like, I was so flustered. And I told George, I forgot to pay them. And I keep telling her every time when we go past them again, I have to pay them. And we haven't driven past them again yet, but they saved us. They literally did. Well, props to them. Then. Props to Richard's Auto. We thanks for the two. Can't send super chats to to you folks. Send that us happened, an email, Luis. Yep. Send us send us an email, and we can look into. And in your email, we need the web link to your channel so that we can see what's going on. And a lot of times, it's just a YouTube glitch. Yep. Sam, thanks for the ten. Jeremy and George, y'all hang in there and breathe. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Jamie, thanks for the two. Friday is my 51st birthday. Did Happy you get your pin? birthday, Jamie. I think the pin is... Well, yes. Yes, I got the pin. I know what the pin is. We'll find out Sunday. I'll find out Sunday. <laughs> it was it was a pin to be worn on Friday, but Friday won't happen now, so we'll all see it on Sunday. Sunday. Jenny, thanks for the five. I went to half meal time in Grill, and will always uh, be so thankful. For all the wonderful memories made there. Thank you, George Aww. and Jeremy. It was Thanks, so Jenny. much fun. It was so much fun. I remember Jenny took it, wanted to take a picture on the hillbilly uh 
transportation. We had tr open trailers with couches. With couches <laughs> from storage <laughs> units that we bought. And the tractors and the trailers would go pick up everybody from their car and bring them to the event. And you got to sit on couches. <laughs> we just had so much fun. It is something we'll never, ever, ever forget. That's awesome. Double Cara, thanks for two. Tell them about the two inch pipe. All right. Two inch pipe is. Um, <laughs> Your I mean. plumber okay. called me personally. So we're so far back in the woods, and I wanted to hook up the town hall water and the town water. And to get pressure back in the woods, I had to go with a two inch line to keep water pressure. If I didn't, we'd just get a trickle. And so, so I spent $25,000 to plumb a two inch line all the way back into the woods. And then they started to steal from me, lied to me and told me that other people had two inch lines and they were paying the exact same price I was, which was not true. Everybody in this town paid the one flat rate, whether they were commercial, residential, no matter what size their line was, they paid $22.50. They charged me $50. Why? Because I'm the rich YouTuber from up uh -huh. north. I'm the Yankee. And they got caught. That's, that's when the camera came on and started filming all of this. Yeah. And that's when you're by the way, I'm not rich. As yeah. a matter of fact, I share this all the time. I have nothing. I don't even get a paycheck. My paycheck is zero. I have nothing. I, I'm not rich by any stretch of the imagination. I am blessed. And and I'm I, I love to bless others as well. Hmm. Sandra, thanks for the five. We can get a new lawyer, have drug tests done on Lynette and Crook to back up your accusations. We don't even need to do that. They post all about the drugs. Yeah, you heard, you heard the. Uh, to it. Well, we heard the secret to, message. It's all, you there. Know? it's all there. Yeah, I mean, we heard about shooting the people in the walls. <laughs> yeah, Tracy, thanks for five. You should uh, spend time with Pepper. It would make Pepper you feel better. Pepper is our YouTube grandbaby. So employees, Christian, and patients work for us, and they just had a baby, Pepper. And uh, I just told Christian in we were Ohio. Talking, we were talking Monday and I'm like, man, I am coming back to see Pepper soon. Very, very soon. I was like, I'm just going to come back and, and love on her. And he's like, all right, hurry up. <laughs> She's super cute. Super so cute. Thanks for five. Love to help. Tug. Aww, and we'll help. Too. Dan, thanks for two. I will take care of that for you tomorrow. Thanks, Dan. Sweet. Jamal, thanks for the 10. Hashtag buckle up. Thanks, Tug, for your support. Strength in numbers. Yep. Yes. Love yeah. MTH. That's Soldier a monster. Mom. Soldier Mom's awesome person, too. Yep. They're right, though. I mean, it is. If everybody shares out stories on that and shares out what the hell channel, again, the like, biggest thing you can do if you're not for some reason, uh, subscribe to it. Make sure you do that and share out videos. Make sure people see them. Make sure they're on every platform, too. Lisa, thanks for the two. Don't you think. Um, you are shooting them. I'm not. I don't no, get it. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I don't redneck, get it. Redneck treasure. Thanks for the two. Love WTF. <laughs> They're jealous of your two inch pipe, baby. Yeah. We're starting to think that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No uh, doubt. We're we're at the bottom of the super chat. There's um, there's member chats. I'll go through if uh, you all want to stick. That's fine. If you need to leave, we're or still whatever. here. We're still here. Okay. We might as well stay. All right, give me a second. I'm going to roll up and hit the hit those. Subi Sue, thank you for five gifted memberships. Thank you. Sue, hey, here, let me pull up. Sue, thank you. Welcome. Thank you for the membership. Welcome to Tugs. I love Switching. it when people gift memberships. I think yeah. that's one of the coolest I, things. That's what I say all the time. I, I love that feature because it builds wh whatever word people use, a community, a family, whatever. It makes you, it, it, you're all, you are this thing, but it points out and you can use, you know, all the little memes and everything else that are added. Yeah. Sander, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Thank you. Annette, thank you for your membership. Appreciate that. Wow, that's great. Renee, thank you for five gifted memberships. Thank you. That's awesome. Wild Stallion, thank you for your membership too. Thank you. Subi Sue, thank you for five gifted memberships as well. Thank you. Subi Sue's hot tonight. Subi yeah. Sue's so generous tonight. Very. Subi Sue is always like that too. I, I'm always here. Love to you. 
appreciate that. I love seeing uh, people I know on every other channel. Like when I tune in for a, a channel, checking them out and stuff, and I say, hey, they're getting support. They, that's what should be happening. So I love it. Sergeant Jamal, thank you for the membership. Appreciate that. I'm scanning through. You have to give me one second. I'm rolling through real fast. And I think there's three at the bottom here. Wonderlust, thank you for your membership. Shane, thank you for your membership. Nice, Shane. Wonderlust, also thank you for gifting membership too. And gifting another membership. So there's actually two there. All right. Is there anything you all want to add? We've hit everything there. Anything you want to add at the end here? Do the right thing. Indeed. None of this, none of this would even be happening if everybody did the right thing. Oh, if only if we had a if we had a perfect world, maybe one lesson at a time, right? Yep. <laughs> Thank you, everybody that tuned in. Appreciate you all being here and going to end here. Thanks.